Number 15. Orange creature. Is this creature for real? We're so back, Tiger Bros. <laughs> We're so back, Tiger Bros. We're so back. Did you see it? Did you see it? Did you actually see it? Did you see it? So, I messed around with the gain settings. I messed around with the compressor settings. I messed around with the microphone placement. Hopefully, it sounds a bit better today. Um, <laughs> for you guys who are not knowing what I'm talking about right now, uh, KK very graciously, very thankfully, gifted me, or I should say, lent me a new microphone. It is a Rode Podcast microphone. It sounds a bit, that's for sure. Does it sound bad? What haven't you messed around with? <laughs> Dude, they call me the messer on the kind of amount of mess I, messes I make. Same mic, same mic, same mic. It's a new mic. Uh, it's a new mic if you have not seen the last stream. If you've seen the last stream, it's the same mic. But if it's a... a you know, if you've watched the last stream, if you have a stream streak going, uh, it is a, a same mic. Sounds good? Let's go! Let's go! So, one of the things that I was informed on is the fact that my audio, like, volume, if I'm very quiet or if I'm very loud, is very different. You missed a lot if you missed the last stream. True! You actually did miss a lot if you missed the last stream. If, if you guys want to catch up on some content, the last stream was really funny. Uh, as said by an anonymous tiger bro who's not me saying this to you right now. <laughs> hold on, hold on, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Wait a second, wait a second, hold on, hold on. Wait a second, wait a second. Wait a second. Let me, let me do this real quick. Let me do this real quick. Let me do this. If you missed the last stream, the last stream was really funny, and she show is so good at Tekken, uh, and she told really funny stories, and it's really cool that she got to Red Rank. Honestly, it's such a hard rank to get to, nobody can get to it, it's like, the least populated rank in the game. Also, like, her whiff punishes are so good, and she never whiffs any attacks, and her mix-ups are so good too, you know? Uh, and she's also, like, really funny, and is good at telling stories. <laughs> So let me get rid of some of these freeloaders here. We have some free Tiger Bros on screen that I forgot to get rid of. One, two, three, there we go. Tada tada! It's good to see everyone. I hope everyone had a wonderful weekend. I know I promised a Monday stream, but... I totally forgot the fact that I can't stream for two days in a row. Oh, hold on, Tiger Bros are paying rent. There's one. There you go. <laughs> I totally forgot the fact that I can't stream two days in a row because my brain would malfunction. Uh, I can only be funny for one- one day. <laughs> she, they call her Shimada Liger. <laughs> I can only be funny for one day, and then I need a whole day of life experience to become funny again. Forgot her because- exactly, that's the thing. Rent payers be like, what's good, Rudy? Let me say hi to everyone real quick. What's good, Coder Patsy? What's good, Spaniard? What's good, Santi? What's good, Onichan? What's good, Clown Wrangler? What's good, Ace Republic? What's good, Ashley Zombie? What's good, Key Energy? Going through more. What's good, Scarf? What's good, Shimano Tiger? Always great to have you here. Stream would not go if it wasn't for you. Uh, what's good, Don? Good to see you. What's good, Mr. Fuis? What's good, Mun Mun? What's good, Honest Dave? <laughs> Clown Wrangler's mad. <laughs> Clown, Wrangler, Crown, Clown Wrangler is upset at my legally distinct title today. Uh, I couldn't think of a title today, and I almost made it one that would have like put me under the gun for a scary group. They probably like don't monitor streams, right? I could probably just say it. My stream title was previously on shimanatiger.tv. My stream title was gonna be the Falun Gong's about to send their best after me or something. <laughs> the previous stream title was gonna be like the Falun Gong's gonna get after me for this one. Oh, they're gonna? They're gonna. <laughs> They have an insider in chat. Who is the insider on this stream who is uh, fucking batting for the Falun Gong? Who is the Shen Yun motherfucker in chat right now? <laughs> is it Rudy? Yeah, it's Rudy. That's you! It's you! I knew it. I knew it. 
I knew you would be the Falun Gong rep in chat. What if we had a sponsorship? No, I can't joke about that. That's like not good. <laughs> that's just, that's going too far. What's good, Cambosa? Good to have you here. What's good, Blue Gecko? What's good, Yeg Boyinius? Just going through more, just going through more. What's good, Rice too? Always good to have you here. What's good, G Deki? Oh, so creaky. Tiger Oshi's live. That's so sweet of you. I really appreciate that. That's very kind of you. Thank you so much for the six month sub. That's very sweet of you. What's good, King Crimson? What's good, Chaos Muffin? Also, oh, Clan Wrangler, thank you for the three stream streak. What's good, Nanana? 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 It's always good to have you here. I hope you're doing well. Also, Fishmas, it's good to see you. It's going through more, it's going through more. Short, 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 it's good to see you. Did you see it? I did see it. Void Gear, good to see you. Hey, it's good to have you here. It's going through more. Darkness Well, it's always good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Let me scroll through more. It was so awesome hearing about how you defeated Evil Ghost, too. <laughs> I don't even know if the ghost was evil, but it was definitely scary. I think if something's scary, it's like one-to-one -one with evil, right? If something's scary, it's probably evil. Nothing- Listen, this year, 2024, we're judging books by their cover. <laughs> we're judging books by their cover this year. If we weren't supposed to judge them by their cover, why would they have one? If something's scary, that means it's evil. <laughs> this is the year. This is the year we start judging books by their cover. If you don't want me to judge you by your cover, be a fucking audiobook. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, dog. So all people are evil? Are all people scary? I guess if you have um, anxiety, I guess all people would be evil, because all people would be scary in that scenario. Shimada Liger. <laughs> Kevin Shisho observes George Washington's birthdays. Dude, I didn't even know what fucking holiday it was. My boss was just like, when I was at the office, he was just like, Oh, by the way, Shimano, you don't have to come to work. And I was just like, huh? Huh? Fucking staring around, looking around me, trying to figure out what I did wrong, thinking I got laid off. <laughs> huh? Huh? Turns out it was just George Washington's birthday in conjunction with Abraham Lincoln's birthday and cut in half because that's a real holiday, apparently. <laughs> apparently that's a real holiday. Um... She expends carbon monoxide. I don't expend carbon monoxide, I take it. Maybe I do expend it. Is carbon monoxide a naturally occurring, like, uh, uh, exhalant of a human being? Carbon dioxide is, right? What if we just take one of the oxides off? We got one in chat. <laughs> we have an oxide tiger, bro. We could just have him. Let me scroll through more, let me scroll through more. Shimano is truly the dang cook of YouTubers. You can't say that. <laughs> you can't say that. You can't, that's, okay. People have told me they hate my model. People have told me they hate my voice. People have told me that I suck at video games. People have told me that I'm not funny. People, people have ragged on me for everything. You can't say that I'm the dang cook of YouTubers cause I'll kill you for that one. <laughs> <laughs> I could take everything else, but I'll fucking kill you for that one. What if we were the Daniel Tosh of YouTubers? Tosh.0. They were wrong on all counts. Thank you, I appreciate that. It's very sweet of you. Stealing bread out of your children's mouths. <laughs> Fuzzy, it's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Hitting them with a career of video game music and then selling a console that doesn't exist. That's very specific, Shimada. I hope you're doing well, Fuzzy. This is straight out of the brain of Clown Wrangler, because he said Tommy Tallarico. And originally, my stream title was going to be like, I'm straight lying about frame data, bro. But I thought it was funnier if I said I'm hitting them with the Tommy Tallarico type frame data. <laughs> We're embellishing the frame data today. We're not telling the truth on the frame data. The people want to know what the frame data is, but we're not telling them what it actually is. We're just going to come up with a new version and sell it and tell, tell people that we were the first Americans to know it. <laughs> Dude, we were the first Americans to know the Tekken 8 frame data. I can't believe this. Uh, certainly not a researchable fact about ourselves here. <laughs> also, nobody is going to have you here. I hope you're doing well. Let's go through more. You're Ulysses S. Grant. He's the good one, right? <laughs> He's the good one, right? He's the one that won, right? <laughs> I feel like if, if we had, like, extremely southern tiger bros, that would be a contentious topic for somehow. Somehow in the year 2024. Carbon dioxide is the exhalant. Carbon monoxide steals away the second oxygen in the O2 that we breathe. 
Let me get its fucking own oxygen then. Nobody wants to work these days. <laughs> Geranio, it's good to have you here. I hope you're doing well. And the Mighty Red, thank you so much for the follow. Much appreciated. It's good to see you. Dude, nobody wants to work the these Mighty days. Even the carbon is taking our fucking oxygen away. <laughs> Why does it get its own oxygen, dog? Listen, I'm breathing out perfectly cromulent carbon dioxide. And carbon monoxide says, hmm, give me that. Hmm, give me that. I should've ordered that. <laughs> it's the fucking uh, skit from I Think You Should Leave, where they're with the, the teacher, the professor, and he orders a burger, and the professor stares at the burger and is just like, I should've ordered that. I should've ordered that. Give me that. <laughs> she wanna tires the whole Kogan of YouTubers, brother. Dude, I say brother so much now. I was a expert, it's good to have you here. I hope you're doing well. Carlos Mencia. Did you guys see about how ChatGPT has uh, started spitting out random things in Spanish now? I, I, I was thinking it was really funny because we keep talking about how the majority of the dojo is Spanish speaking besides me. But it's really funny now that ChatGPT is like... <laughs> ChatGPT, apparently, when people started asking it questions, it started sp like spitting out like like really bad Spanglish uh, that is like super incoherent. The majority of the dojo is ChatGPT. <laughs> None of you guys are real. I just programmed you to, to respond to me and laugh every once in a while. Is it glitching out? Does that mean Skynet is upon us? See, that's what I think too. Let me, let me pull up a screenshot of this shit so you guys can see what I'm talking about. I did bookmark it earlier. But we're not gonna look at my bookmarks today. <laughs> I did bookmark it earlier, but we're not looking at my bookmarks today. Okay, let me find this here. This is a screenshot. This is a screenshot. Added to the dojo iceberg. Are we gonna have some new dojo conspiracy theories? There's a lot, to be honest. It's actually really funny how many conspiracy theories have been crafted about me that are either like slightly on the mark, totally on the mark, or totally off the mark. But I guess that covers all the three, <laughs> all the three options there. Also, Pete the Avarice is gonna see you. I hope you're doing well. What's in the bookmark, Shisho? You got that nature harvest in your bookmarks? What, do you want a snack for lunchtime? Were you guys, okay. Were you guys the type to have packed lunches at school? Or did you have, uh, like, like packed real food? Or did you have to buy your food? Or, third option, third option. Were you like me, and you had like, <laughs> a whole apple and then a nature's harvest bar, and you took one bite into it, and then you got that shit stuck in your teeth for the rest of the day? You got them free slash reduced lunches. Let's go, let's go. Also Red Panda, it's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Packaged lunch are for cowards. You had free lunches. Where do you have the lunches for free? Nature Valley Tiger- Wait, what's Nature Harvest then? <laughs> Wait, if Nature Valley is the bar, what's Nature Harvest? You were given five dollars and pocketed the money. That's what I did too sometimes. So Mama Toto always like banked back and forth between either packing me like a whole apple and then like a, a bar that if you took one bite out of it, you would A, have to go to the dentist in 30 days uh, or your teeth is free or B, you would like have that shit stuck in your grill for the rest of the mount the rest of the day. What did you do to nature? We harvested it. Nature's harvest is the name of a co cursed recipe book. Oh, is that the cum one? <laughs> is that the cum one? I've heard of that one from scrolling through Twitter. Oh no, I did not have that for lunch for sure. <laughs> I didn't have that one for lunch for sure. You have free lunches when your parents show the school their taxes and the school says, I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel like I feel like we could have qualified for that, at least at some point, but like my mom is just like, no, you're gonna eat a whole apple and then a bar that's not gonna like give you sustenance, but it will make you regret opening your mouth in front of any other person for the rest of the day. <laughs> Living in the walls, eating the insulation. That's the succulent house meat. <laughs> that's what we call succulent house meat, bro. That shit's good for you. That's that's nutrition. That's nutrition. All right, hold on. 
I want you guys to show me what this means. The Spanish-speaking Tiger Bros in the chat right now, uh, you guys are gonna have to come in clutch real quick because you're gonna have to tell me what this means. What does this mean? <laughs> somebody, somebody posted this chat GPT response. Um, someone posted this chat GPT response, and I don't know what this means. But I thought it was really funny. <laughs> Like, everything else I read in Spanish, I don't know what it means, but I think it's really funny. That bot is having a seizure. I hope you're doing well too, it's good to have you here. Tosh.0 taught you about nature's harvest. Tosh.0 is not around for nature's harvest. That's a new invention. That's a new invention. Tosh.0 is like 2010. The nature's harvest, well at least when I heard about it, was like 2018 or so. Unless Tosh.0 made a resurgence. Your uncle speaks like that when drunk? <laughs> I fucking love the response to your fucking large language model chat GPT that says, Are you having a stroke? <laughs> chat GPT is going rampant? It's so funny. Like, it's actually so funny because it's like... I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be maybe a bit harsh, but it's like such a blight on the world. At first, I thought it was a cool tool. I thought it was a cool piece of advancing technology. Uh, then I've come to the realization that ChatGPT is a blight upon the world. Because of the amount of Twitter replies that I have to read that are like, so beautiful. I love this image, especially the aura it gives me. Life is wonderful. So beautiful. <laughs> Thank you for such a nice post. This has made my day. It is a fucking blight upon the world, bro. Every fucking reply to any post I see on Twitter that has a, like a non-negligible amount of likes and retweets always has one blue check motherfucker under the replies with an extremely chat GPT reply that just like takes the, takes the skim off the top of the milk of the post and is just like, I love this wonderful post. <laughs> But to be fair, that guy, that's you guys when I make posts. That's you guys when I make posts. Warhammer taught you that all is all AI is blight. I mean, maybe I'm like falling into that direction now. Dude, when I see the ghost in Tekken, I make sure I give him like an extra bit of violence. <laughs> when I fight ghosts in Tekken, I'm just like, I gotta get some extra violence on this one. I'm gonna fucking throw throw more in for uh uh what's his name? Who's the guy who made the laws of robotics? Uh, uh, Chekhov or whatever. <laughs> you love this wonderful stream? Tactical cocaine, it's always great to see you. Asimov. Dude, Asimov's so below, that's what I always say. <laughs> Alexander Chekhov. Dr. Light? It's a Nature's Harvest, apparently it was published in 2008. Dude, I don't want to think about that. <laughs> I don't want to think about the fact that Taj.0 was 2008 then. That makes me feel old as hell. Cause I, I was like cognizant of the internet extremely back when that came out. And I'm more cognizant of the internet extremely and I fucking outlived it. You ever think those uh, AI websites that makes all the topics from all areas of life. Like you search, it's sugar bad at night. And at the end of the same article you get how to download Fortnite. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Also, Ufi Chumpy, it's great to have you here. I hope you're doing well. That's, that's the fucking, uh, what's it called? Wiki How now. Cause I'm pretty sure Wiki How has become like, um, AI generated. Hold on. Let's do some random Wiki Hows actually. Dude, this is always really funny. Let me pull up a browser source. So let's pull up a browser source real quick. Window capture. Let's do this one here. Hope this doesn't knock me. <laughs> I hope there's no ads on this website that docks me. Let me get rid of this here. Tosh.0 started in 2009, ended in 2020. That's not true. <laughs> That's not true. It did not end in 2020. It ended in like 2011. And then there was no more after that. <laughs> you can't gaslight me into believing that shit ended in 2020. Who's watching it in 2020? Who's watching it in 2020? No one's watching in 2020. You can't tell me that. 
Also, G Max is good to see you. Ultimate reality where Shimada's a React tuber. People in rural America. Also, Mr. Gosh Darn, it's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. That makes a lot of sense, to be honest. I did not understand. Okay, I. What hit me? The fact that I live in a bubble is when I left California to go to the East Coast. Also, I have a bone to pick with the East Coasters in a minute, too. Um, let's hit a random. Explore? Random article. Why is Aquarius so attracted to toys? Dude! <laughs> Dude! We need this. Any, any Tauruses in the chat? You guys got unspoken riz. Just find an Aquarius. If there's any Taurus in the chat right now who doesn't have a girlfriend or an Aquarius friend, you got it. It's right there. Why are they so attracted to you? <laughs> this looks like when, when people draw yaoi ships of an anime, but they draw them really off model. <laughs> yeah, what hit me the fact that I was living in a bubble in California was when I left to see the East Coast. Um, and I discovered the fact that there were more churches than restaurants. You take every restaurant in California and you divide it by half. Half of them are churches now. And then you keep the regular churches too. That was insane to me. There was a church on every block. That was that was crazy to me. I was like, where's the where's the, the Taco Bell? Where's the where's the Quiznos? Where's the where's the Jersey Mike's? I'm in Jersey, where are the Jersey mics? <laughs> you gotta get tax havens in high tax areas. Little Tori was thinking Bible Belt was thinking the East Coast. <laughs> Dude, I don't even want to imagine what the Midwest is then. If the East Coast, a fucking megatropolis, has more churches than, than restaurants, I don't even want to imagine what the, the Midwest is. That's like a Taco Bell every like 40 miles. The South is worse. The South is worse, but you also get better food. Like, that's the, the fact of the matter is the South is worse, but you get better... Pound per pound, your food is better. So, I'm gonna ruffle some feathers here. West Coast, best food. South, equally, equally good food. I'm not gonna tell you guys that your food's worse, but I'm gonna say it's equally as good. The East Coast, you guys gotta do something about that shit. <laughs> you guys gotta do something about that shit. I'm not gonna hold you for it. Like, New York pizza's good. But then, I go to East Coast and they're like, you want an East Coast delicacy? And I'm like, yeah, and they take me to fucking Sheets. <laughs> I go to the East Coast and they're like, would you like our, our tastiest grub? And I'm like, yes, please. Show me, show me what you guys represent yourself. And they take me to Sheets. <laughs> We're trying our best. I bet you guys are. Cajun and Creole are best Americana food. Those are South. That's South. C Cajun food is south. That's not East Coast. East Coast is everything above Florida. Or I should say everything above South Carolina. Or I should say everything above North Carolina. That's East Coast. Northeast Coast is the only East Coast that matters. Exactly. Everything else is south. Hold on, hold on. Let's draw a map of America. Miss Paint. We're gonna draw a map of America. Oh shit, this shit popped up instantly. Okay. So, back in elementary school, I took a class that was mapping the world by heart, where I learned how to map the world by heart. But you're about to see the fact that I don't remember what it looks like. <laughs> I don't remember fucking shit from that geography class. It's a it's a class specifically where you, where you learn how to draw a map of the entire world. Uh, and there were a lot of countries I left out. I forgot Sweden existed. I forgot Norway existed. Uh, I drew Africa reversed. <laughs> I fucking drew Africa like reversed. All the flavor in America is completely centralized in lower, lower half of Louisiana. Dude, you gotta you gotta fucking come to California again. You can find every type of food within walking distance of each other. You're not gonna tell me all the flavor. Okay, all the American flavor. Every, all the original American flavor for sure. Like, would I consider American cuisine? Yes. That's all trapped in the lower East Coast. If it's food in general, the West Coast has a beat. 
You can agree with that? Yeah, exactly. Alright. You better agree with that. Alright, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> There's California. Um. Here's Texas. And then... It goes up here. It goes up here. And then here's Florida. And then from Florida... We go here. And then we go out, because these are like the 13 colonies, I guess. And then here's Rhode Island. And then we go up more. And then New York is like here. And then like Maine is like here. And then Vermont is like here. And then we go this way. And then there's like an island here for some reason. We go here. And then we go here. And then we come down. That's my map of the United States. Yo, this hitbox jank. <laughs> is that a shoe? What's good, Andrew? This is the United States of America. This is the United States of America. This is how I see it. <laughs> this is my fucked up world. <laughs> Why is Florida dangling like that? Take that shit up with Christopher Columbus. <laughs> He's the one who founded it or something. I don't know who founded Florida. It's not my fault. Dude, is this Overwatch 2 hitboxes? Isn't Overwatch 2 like hit scan? Let me find America. US map. I'm gonna see how close I was. Dude, I was close! I was actually close. I was actually close. Haters will say it's fake, but this is close. People don't want to believe it. People always uh, play up my, my feelings. But when when you show them <laughs> when you show them some true she show genius. <laughs> Maybe we should hide it. Maybe we should hide it. That's pretty close it's pretty close, right? Sonic F Smash hitbox. That's Warhammer 40k pistol. <laughs> That's the type of pistols the Germans were using in World War One. The Florida buff. Dude, Florida is the easiest one to draw. It's literally just that. Florida looks like um, an Elden Ring area. Because <laughs> it is one too, right? Better than most Americans draw. Most Americans don't even know where Florida is. You did so well and even colored it. Wow. <laughs> How is there dementia? This is the map after my gas leak hits. Florida is the poison swamp. Did you guys see that fucking sicko Miyazaki added another poison swamp to Elden Ring? <laughs> Did you guys see that fucking sicko Miyazaki said, For the Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC, we're adding a whole new poison swamp. What is his fucking problem? <laughs> What's his problem? What's his deal? Why does he always have to add a new poison swamp? There's like already five in Elden Ring. He can't help himself. <laughs> it's the picture of Bugs Bunny holding the gun that says, I gotta go back to the old me. <laughs> I'm going back to the old me. That's Miyazaki every time that he makes a, a, a body of water with a pH lower than like two. Let me find this here. I'm going back to the old me. I'm going back to the old me. me. Dude, there's so many of these memes. What the hell? We need a Shimada Tiger redrawing of this. <laughs> we genuinely need a Shimada Tiger, Lord forgive me, but it's time to go back to the old me. We have to get a Shimada Tiger redrawing of this thing. Oh, it's a large file, hold on. Let me say this shit is PNG. No, I don't want to click on know your meme. I already know the meme. I know every meme. <laughs> I'm on the internet 24 seven, bro. I know every meme. It's this one. This is the one. Bro is actually addicted to getting out of the mud. That's why he keeps adding the swamps. Shimada redraw. We need a Shimada redraw of this meme. <laughs> we have Itchy Shower. We now need a Shimada redraw of this meme. I know the meme. I made the meme. <laughs> me, me is Tally, Tommy Tallarico. I made this meme. We need footage of Miyazaki sampling each flavor of Poison Swampy events. He should go on Hot Ones, but the Hot Ones should be like... <laughs> Detritus ones. <laughs> a 
Okay, in the in the fucking um in the gauntlet of poison swamp water, how far is Miyazaki going and where does he stop? We have uh Blight Town, we have the Valley of Defilement, we have the Poison Swamp from, from Dark Souls 2. We have the Poison Swamp from Dark Souls 3, both of them. How far is he making it in the in the in the gauntlet of which ones he has to drink the water for? My money he stops at Valley of Defilement. The infernal ones. Chat of Oscar in the background. <laughs> also, Dante, it's great to see you. Thank you so much for the sub. Much appreciated. That's very kind of you. Let me grab another tiger bear here too. Tiger bear number two. Oh, wait, that's not it. Wait, that's not it. That's not it either. <laughs> here, let's grab another tiger bear here. Tiger bear number two. There we go. That's the one I want to see. Also, the Corvus bear. It's good to see you. Tante, thank you so much for the resub. I really appreciate that. That's very kind of you. How the fuck is he gonna do another poison swamp? So, my concern... My concern is that someone said... The map for the new Elden Ring DLC is the size of Limgrave. If it's the size of Limgrave, where the hell is he putting the poison swamp? <laughs> Where the fuck is he putting the poison swamp? That's my fear. That's Limgrave. <laughs> That's what it is. That's the size. Right in the middle, underground probably. I'm thinking he has to do underground, right? It'd be so fucked if it was right in the middle. You start in a poison swamp. Elden Ring Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> they should make Elden Ring Tears of the Kingdom, but they flip the map upside down and you start at the top instead of the bottom. Can we get a map for this? Yeah, let's find... I don't even remember what Limgrave looked like. Limgrave. I'm gonna look at... Okay, okay. I'm gonna look at a map of Elden Ring. Elden Ring map. Yes! Gonna... Yes! Kill! 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 Thank you so much for the reset. Much appreciated. That's very kind of you. Bro, what the hell? This is not Elden Ring. This ain't Elden Ring? Wait. What the hell is this? Fit the screen. Fit the screen. Wait, hold on, hold on. Transform. This shit ain't Elden Ring. This is Australia. <laughs> what the hell? Bro, they pulled a fast one. They pulled the wool over eyes. Elden Ring actually takes place in Australia. What the heck? We have Queensland. We have Brisbane. We have the desert. We have Queensland. We have Quincy. There's Orlando. Um, we have uh, fucking Vermont. I see Vancouver there too. This is Australia. <laughs> what the fuck? This shit ain't Elden Ring. Shimada's backyard looking huge. <laughs> I used to have a shed in the backyard of the house that the dojo is currently located in um that could only be described as a a what's it called a japanese horror shed <laughs> it looked like a shed straight out of a japanese horror film with like sticks and twigs and all brisbane is not pronounced like that it's brisbane you're lying to me dog you're lying to me it's not that <laughs> there's no way there's no way wait hold on hold on Hold on, hold on. I have to find this. How to pronounce Brisbane? Brisbane pronunciation. There's no shot. Real life examples. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Hello, everyone. Welcome to. This is not what I'm looking for. Okay. Here it is. Here it is. So, that then. When I finished that, um, what is he talking? Two thousand eleven. Okay, he's gonna say it. He's gonna say it. <laughs> wait, why did they skip him saying Brisbane? To Brisbane. Oh, yeah. wait. Okay, okay. And even to Brisbane. Okay. Brisbane. Brisbane. Why do you say it like that? Melbourne is Melbourne. You're a true blue Aussie legend. Dude, this shit is not fair dinkum. 
Have I been lied to? My fucking my dad, Papa Tora, dude. That's why. <laughs> that's why. Papa Tora told me. The motherfucker who went to Australia all the time told me that it's pronounced Brisbane. No wonder he's the gaslighter. <laughs> he's the gaslighter. He's the one who told me ninjas were Chinese. Despite him being fucking Japanese himself. He's the gaslighter. We cracked the code. Your dad gaslit gay kept and girl bossed. <laughs> he fucking just gaslit me all the time for no reason. They hit Australia with the Tower of Babel again. <laughs> I feel like that's where the Tower of Babel fell lengthwise, and that's why it's like, you can only live on one side or the other. It's also where they talk like that, too. Shisho, let's do a stream about things your dad told you, so we can ungaslight you. <laughs> we have to! Dude, this is my deprogramming. Also, Shadow Highland, it's good to see you. I hope you're doing well, it's good to have you here. He taught you wrong as a joke? I felt like he probably thought it was the funniest thing in the world to me, or to him, for me to just not know things. You know? I feel like that was like... His level of comedy is that it was funnier if I struggled later in life. That's why he called me pump- He told me pumpernickel bread was chocolate bread. <laughs> we went to- to, um... The cheese coat factory. We always went to the cheesecake factory. Which I- I don't recommend. Cheesecake factory has gotta be a f like the biggest American scam in the world. Long form dark comedy. <laughs> He's not even around to know now! Lying to children is a treasured pastime. What's good, Zoom Zabba Boy? It's good to have you here. I hope you're doing well. We went to the Cheesecake Factory, which, like I said, that has to be the biggest American scam known to man. That shit is not worth the premium price that they that they look like hype it up to be. Their salmon is alright. Not even for cheesecake. Oh, the cheesecake is pretty good. That's what you go there for, but if you have any food, it's like a more expensive version of anything else you can get in the world, but like slightly worse. <laughs> you know the rule of thumb about places with big menus always having worse food? That's what that is. That's what that is. Also, Booney, it's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Every time Shimano misbehave, he told a lie as a sober and punishment true. He knew that I would make a fool of myself. That's why... So... I went to Cheesecake Factory as an adult with several friends of mine and I asked the waitress for chocolate bread because my dad told me that their pumpernickel bread was chocolate bread. Now imagine back then I had to be like 23. I was like 23 back then. Imagine a 23 year old sitting at the table when the waitress comes by asking for chocolate bread Ch chocolate bread because I thought that that was a real bread <laughs> I thought that shit was real I got lied to you. so let me grab a tiger shrine fortune for Coder Patsy sister defines cheesecake factory as peak pre 9-11 American exceptionalism it's exactly like that because there's nothing exceptional about it. <laughs> there's not really anything particularly exceptional about it. Uh, and it's more expensive than like any of its its counterparts that are selling you the same thing. Like some- it, it's not bad. I'm not gonna say it's bad. But I'm gonna tell you right now. It's definitely not good. <laughs> For the price that it is. And people who tell me it is are like lying to me. You know, that's like gaslighting like my dad. Alright, let me find... Where is this? Where is the... Omikuji, there you are. Alright, we're gonna grab... Kodopatsi, a Tiger Shrine Fortune today. Let's go over here. I'm gonna get rid of my drawing, my drawing. What you mean to tell us is that your dad was the gas leak? <laughs> the gas leak was my father this whole time. No, call me, call me, <laughs> call me leak. Gas leak was my father's name. <laughs> call me 
Gary Leak. Gash Leak was my father's name. Alright, Kodopatsi. Which one would you like? Which one would you like? Commence there's secretly a raid boss in your local cheesecake factory now. It's flooded under mysterious circumstances a month ago. Is it still flooded now? Did they not get the water out of there? Just use the fucking pumpernickel bread. That shit is dry as hell. <laughs> use the pumpernickel bread. That shit is so dry, you can suck up all the water with it. Is now it was a mixed time. Thank you so much for the raid. Much appreciated. Welcome, readers. Welcome, welcome. It's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Let me give you a quick shout out next time. And also, thank you for the follow, ZTP. Next time, what are you up to today? I hope you had fun. Also, new with DCD, thank you so much for the resub. Much appreciated. Let me give you a quick shout out here. Who is up to today? The shout out did not work because I did not do the command properly. <laughs> Just chatting. What are you guys chatting about today? Did you have fun? Did you have a fun stream? I hope everybody enjoyed Mixed Time Stream. Thank you so much for stopping by. Much appreciated. Also, engravement. What's good? It's good to have you here. You had fun? Let's go, let's go. Alright, Kodapatsu. Which one? They were debuting? Yo, let's go! Let's go! Congrats on your debut, Mix Time! Congrats on your debut! That's awesome! Mix's debut? Let's fucking go! That's so cool. Dude, I remember when I debuted. That shit was so long ago. You should hold on to how fun it is. And then always remember it. Also, make sure you save the VOD, too. That is good content to react to later. <laughs> That's good content to react to uh, in like two years. Because then your entire stream is going to be different. <laughs> in two years from now, uh, everything about your stream will probably be very different. Which makes it really funny to watch your debut again. And that's what I wish I saved my debut for. Because I did not save it. <laughs> All I remember is the fact that I ran like 5 miles. Or more. Alright, let me find this here. Kodapati, which one did you want? Somebody get this man. Somebody get this man. Exactly, it's like, like looking at old photographs. They pumped the water out. All I know is the employees were blindsided by perfect chaos, being localized entirely within their kitchen. Save your debut for a time 10 years from now. Exactly, because we're all going to be streaming 10 years from now. I got nothing else to do. <laughs> I got nothing else to do 10 years from now. More like Tommy Teller Lico. True. Only people that recommend Cheesecoke Factory are the ones that think seedless jalapeno peppers are spicier. That's what fucked me up is when I learned that the, the seeds are what make it spicy. Dude, wait, hold on. Is he still in here? Hold on, hold on. What's a hollow pilot? Hollow pilot, it's good to see you. I'm about to jump scare these guys real quick. Hold on. Kodapati, what do you want for your redeem? Oh, shit. Oh, my <laughs> Christ. Like, what do you want for your redeem? Us, dude. Oh, fucking direction, I guess. Okay. Oh, <laughs> the tire bros are in the Discord right now. All the tire bros are in the Discord right now. And Kodapatsi is like paying attention to the game instead. Also, plus, uh, uh, Pulse Icicle, or Pulse Icy, it's great to have you here. I hope you're doing well. Finally caught a stream. It's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Really had to do him dirty like that? He's wasting my time! <laughs> okay, where's the direction? Right. <laughs> Right. Okay, Kodavatsi. This is your Tiger Shrine fortune for today. Right. What character do you like playing? Also, Sparkstar, it's good to see you. And Headwind, 32 months? That's crazy. I really appreciate that. That's so sweet of you. Thank you so much for the 32 months. That's very kind of you. Looking right? Because that shit ain't left to do. <laughs> Dude, I'm looking right because the way you wronged me. I'm looking up. Because I'm no longer down with you. I'm moving forward because you don't got my back. <laughs> but I've been playing Reyna a lot lately. I started with, with Asuka, but I feel like Reyna is like, way more fun to play. The the forward forward 2 is like the call of the void. I can't stop using it. It's so good. You support Coda rights and Coda wrongs. Dojo VC, VC chat stream debut. I can't trust you guys. <laughs> I can't trust you guys on stream. I don't know what you guys are gonna say. 
You guys be saying anything. Dude, I joined there and there's like... I don't even want to repeat in front of the good people here what you guys be doing in there. Have you tried spamming Wind God yet? Like Wind God Fist? Wind God Punch? Or Wind God Kick? I know that Wind God Kick is pretty good. I, I want to get better at it, but my execution so far is not there yet. You're missing spicy VC nights or something? You gotta hop in there. The one time I've ever been in the dojo VC, I did in fact threaten to kill Shimano for saying Papa John's was good. When did I say Papa John's was good? Dude, that's, that's, that's even scarier. Because you, you didn't threaten to kill me. Because I would never say Papa John's is good. Because that means there has to be a fucking homunculus or something in there. You were talking to a skinwalker, bro. <laughs> I would never say Papa John's is good. You were talking to- there's a fucking, uh, uh, a skinwalker in my Discord pretending to be me. Shisho Mimic, there's a Shisho Mimic in there. Nothing but a good of Chinese cultist in that voice chat. <laughs> we have the entirety of Falun Gong in the voice chat. Trying to start an No, we are not doing that, Shadow Guys. I hope you're doing well, though. <laughs> We were talking to Shisho player too. It's like 2P. I have a different color palette. Hold on. Let's make 2P. 2P Shimada. 2P or not 2P? That is the question. Where is my... Where's my... Where's my model? VTS. There you are. Filters. There you go. We have 2P Shimada. This is the Shimada that thinks Papa John's is good. <laughs> this is the Shimada that- Hey, alright. What does he say? What does he say? Quiet down there. I'm trying to remember what he says. I know he says, hey, alright. I'm so used to this one quote of like, I'm gonna put water in- This guy needs water in his lungs immediately. Keep it down, will ya? Keep it down, will ya? Happy Good Friday. Hey, alright. Keep it down for ya. Keep it down, will ya? <laughs> Let me get rid of this here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Hey, all right. Dude, I have to say hey, all right more. That shit is like a Swedish knife. You can use it in any situation. Is Shimada tournament viable? <laughs> There's two Shimadas on the screen in top eight. What do you mean just Shimada tournament viable? <laughs> Shimada Slager, Shisho as Miyazaki intended. I'm the fucking phalanx demon. Alright, what was I gonna show you guys too? Oh, this game. I wanted to play this game because we were talking about food earlier. I wanted to play this game before we jump into some Tekken. This is a food cuisine guessing game. It was made for the one and only Northern Lion, but I wanted to play it myself as well. It's not GeoGuessr, but it's Food Guesser. Let's do this one. Ingredients. This? Okay. <laughs> this looks gross. <laughs> I'm sure this shit is fire and really good for you. But I feel like... I feel like there's like... Certain ingredients in there. Gotta be European. See, I think it could be Finland. Alright, hold on, hold on. Let's look in here. Couscous? Alright, it's Finland. Morocco? Where the hell is Morocco? Where's Morocco? Does anyone know where Morocco is? You were gonna say Mena? <laughs> Northern Africa? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, Zavina, thank you so much for the reason. Much appreciated. First you Tommy Tallarico Ni, and now you Tommy Tallarico NL. Dude, this is a, a, a derivative type of lifestyle. This, okay, rice, fish, carrots, cabbage, cassava, eggplant, tomatoes, garlic, parsley, stock. The cassava seems like what is going to decide this for us, I feel like. These veggie dishes are trolley. <laughs> Spain? Is this a Spain one to you? We have a few options here. I think that this, I don't even know what cassava is, but I feel like that is the smoking gun here. Because that's such a, a specific ingredient. That seems like such a, a, a localized ingredient. 
Wait, Han? Senegal. National dish of Senegal. It's called Sibu Gem. Fib <laughs> Wait, the C, the C is pronounced with a T. I, I flam my penis in the car door. <laughs> Sebudin, Sebudin, what in this speech impediment? What in tarnation? Means rice and fish in Wolof. Uh, is also popular in neighboring countries such as Mauritania and the Gambia. Do they really call it the Gambia? And not just Gambia? You know your country is interesting when they call it the something. The, the Gambia? The United States of America? Uh... The... 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 The Canada? <laughs> Let's go to the next one. Potatoes, eggs, flour, cut. This... Okay, this is Belarus. Okay, wait, hold on. They threw... No, you gotta be fucking with me. They threw every single country that this is possibly from, and then added Syria on top of it. Okay, this is potatoes. Ireland. Belarus? Sashni. One of the many potato dishes enjoyed in Belarus. Dude, we're zero for three right now. <laughs> we're zero for three right now. The Brazil, the Flames, the Americas. Your microwave pizza every day is, uh, microwave pizza every day ask us and like I know. <laughs> Uncultured swine? Listen, I've never been to fucking Belarus before. I'm not taking my ass to Central Europe. Okay, this looks good. This looks really good. This is making me hungry. You have your flatbreads. You have your fish. You have sour cream? Tasty. I'm a sour cream head. Tomato? Tasty. This is good. This is good. I The fish and sour cream? Makes me think that this is Northern European. So I want to say the Netherlands or Sweden. I want to say either the Netherlands or Sweden for this one. You don't know what this is? Is this the shit they be handing out your Costco or something? I have never seen this before in my life. <laughs> I've never seen this before in my life. Is this what they be handing out at your Trader Joe's? It looks tasty though. Sweden? What's oh, so a Mix is good to see you. Food on crackers is a mistake. Brother, that's the most simple combination known to man. That's like stacking wood on wood to make a, 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 a workbench. How is it a mistake? That's what that's what was intended. You're five layers of abstraction further than where the food should be. The food goes on the cracker. <laughs> what else goes on the cracker? Let's go! Pachi, 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 pachi. Easy. Easy. A barrel? A cracker barrel? Cracker Barrel is like the one place I ever refuse to go to. I'm afraid that if I go there on the weekend, I'd be like shot on sight. <laughs> there are oils and liquids on bread that crumbles and falls everywhere. That's how you eat it really fast. That's charcuterie. This is Italian. There's no Italia here. <laughs> There's no Italy here. Flour, eggs, lamb, or beef. Onion, parsley, yogurt, garlic, tomatoes, butter. This has to be Mediterranean, right? This shit looks Mediterranean as hell. Lorenzo's oil and coconut oil. What the hell? Cracker Barrel got good breakfast? Toons is- It's really unsurprising to hear that from you for some reason. That's not me making a dig at you, that's just me saying like, I know who you are. <laughs> that should be a compliment because, uh, you've- you've- Uh, ingratiated yourself enough into the stream that like, I know who you are. As a- as a- as your soul. <laughs> Also, 10 MBM. I don't know if I greeted you properly earlier, but I hope you're doing well. Lamb makes it sound like Mediterranean. We're gonna say Turkey. Let's go! Monty from Turkey! I told you. You knew? Knowers in chat right now? Knowers in chat right now? This is American. This looks American. There's no American on here. <laughs> well. I don't think it's Taiwanese. I don't think it's Taiwanese, but I cannot, like, rule out anything else here. 
Any noticers? Any noticers? Libya? Yogurt again. If it's yogurt again, I'm gonna expect that it's like, control zoom to move the map. Alright, alright. I'm going to expect... Let's take a look here. Let's take a look here. The Mediterranean. What are places that we can... We can... We can reference here. Macedonia? Albania? Oh, yeah. There it is. I see you, motherfucker. I see you, motherfucker. Do you have any Albanians in chat right now? Albanian number one. <laughs> Albanian number one. Dude, there's so many places here. I haven't heard of half of these countries. I'm looking at these countries right now. I've never heard of half of them. Moriko knows. Moriko is my favorite Albanian. What is this? This is Scotland. This is Haggis. Easy. That's Haggis. I've had Haggis before. I know. Sheep stomach? Sheep stomach? Sheep lung? Sheep heart? Sheep liver? The, the, the whole sheep's in this mother motherfucker. Time to learn Balkan lore? Is that how we, we gain anti antis? Is that how we gain antis? Is that we learn Balkan lore and we, we pick a side? <laughs> I feel like if I have one step in the Balkans, I have the other step in the hell. What's a big kahuna? It's good to have you. Hag ass? We are talking about Cleo. We are talking about Cleo. What's it, Mr. Gosh Darn? Thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Seems Turkish or Indonesian. Gosh this food here? Following. Haggis? I guess, I don't know. I've been I've been exposed to Scottish culture very early in my life. Uh, cause on part of my family is like pretty Scottish. Part, like a small sliver of my family is pretty Scottish. But I thought that that was the most interesting part for the longest time. So I made it my entire personality for all of like elementary school. <laughs> I thought that that was like my entire personality for like all of elementary school. So I just pretended that I was like from Scotland because I just had like, like 10%. <laughs> I wasn't familiar with your game. Keep that demon out of the subject. Wait, are you a Cleo auntie now? Onions, mint, beef, rice, oil, tomatoes, paprika, vinegar, yogurt, lemon. Okay. This sounds like turkey, but there's no turkey in here. Every time I see yogurt and oil, every time I see yogurt and oil, I always feel like it has to be, like, I always feel like it has to be Mediterranean. Bosnian? Is Bosnian and Mediterranean? That's like, yeah, 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 they're fighting with everyone, right? <laughs> yeah, there you are, there you are, you motherfucker. Bosnia. Let's go! Let's go! It's made of onion stuffed with beef. You couldn't say more than just the ingredients list? <laughs> it's Dolma. That's my favorite area in Final Fantasy XIV. Aren't you a clear anti now? You always was. This doesn't look like curry enough to be Indian. Okay. This is where you guys are about to cook me for the stream. I've prepared for this day. I knew this was coming. But I can't keep silent. I can't keep silent any longer on this subject here. I have to talk about the four heavenly kings of food. I've been thinking about this subject on stream for like the last... How long? A long time. The last long time. Let me turn this one on here. We need the f I, I must inform you guys, because people get it twisted. I came to a realization, like, how long ago was it? It was like a, uh, maybe a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago. I came to the realization that there are four heavenly kings of food. Let me make the text bigger here. I need to make the text bigger again, I need to make the text black as well. So you're 150. Four, Jesus Christ, <laughs> heavenly, oh my lord, maybe 150 was a mistake here, heavenly, four heaving, four heavenly kings of food, alright, let's make this a bit smaller, there we go, four heavenly kings of food, <laughs> 
This is a true and unbiased opinion. Heavily? Dude, I'm gonna feel heavily after I eat this. Four heavenly kings of food. These four locations across the world are the four heavenly kings of food. There's no place, places I should say, that top these locations in terms of quality and consistency of their cuisine. Number one, as right, to your number one, this is casting probably the widest net known to man. Malkus, I think of SMT. Did you guys see the new SMT reveal too? I'll talk about that one in a second too. Also, Baka, it's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. It's always great to have you here. Let me give you a quick shout out here. Let me give you a quick shout out, Baka Mitai. We were learning about Australia earlier. Also, Potato Am, thank you so much for the 20 stream streak. That's crazy, the stinky cheese. I hope you're doing well, Potato. Grand Theft Auto 3. I'm gonna play that one on the PSP. This is the widest net, but you must understand. I simply cannot choose a specific country. This region is so unified in its food that I can't, like, avoid this. Latin America. <laughs> Number one has to be Latin America. I cannot divide this any further. This is a house divided upon itself will not stand. Coward? I'm gonna be fucking shot on stream, bro. You know how many viewers I have that are from Latin America, specifically different nations? I'm not gonna kick that anteater's pile. We're gonna say all of La the entire continent. The entire continent of South America. But also Mexico, too. We're gonna have to keep this here. She wanted just picking continents. <laughs> what if the next one was. Wait, wait, wait. What if the next one was like. Why is it so small? What the hell? <laughs> what the fuck? I swear this has never happened to me before. Why did it get so small? Why did it get so small? Alright, hold on. I hit enter and it shrunk to fucking 10. Okay, there you go. Two. This is contentious. This one's contentious, but I mean this with the utmost sincerity. Also, Grace Baron, it's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. To Asia. <laughs> to Asia. No. <laughs> is Burger King one of the four heavenly kings of food? Isn't Burger King way better in Australia? That's- that's what I've learned. Also, I don't know if you guys can hear the squeaking in the background, but Conk is going fucking hog wild on her- her toy. You call it Hungry Jacks there. I've heard... You don't have foot lettuce either. They've filtered out the foot lettuce, the one thing keeping American Burger King down. American Burger King tastes like the tire burgers they made on Edda and Eddie. To Earth. This is contentious. This is contentious. India. India has to be the second heavenly king of food, and I will not take any word against this. You can tell me that you don't believe this. Take your ass down to a nice Indian restaurant. India is a subcontinent. It's still like one location. Hard carried by curry. We only need one thing. That's the. Okay, there's non too. There's curry and naan. Those are the only two types of food you need. The amount of times I've had literally just curry and naan for weeks as as breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I would I would not eat anything else. Dosas are pretty good too. I mean, look at what a dosa says. Also, Taka Hennessy, it's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Naan is just so good. Curry is so good, and naan is so good. All right, let me look at dosas. Dude, that looks tasty! What the heck? I'm telling you! I'm telling you, Indian food is built different. Indian food is built different. This looks like a savory crepe. I mean, it's a pancake. It's an Indian pancake. Also, let me know if you guys can hear the squeaking in the background. I brought it up just a second ago, but I don't know if you guys can hear it. Because if you, if you can, I'm going to take the toy away from them. <laughs> if you can, I'm going to take the toy away from them. Look how good this looks! You're telling me that a, a country that has curry, naan, and this? 
is not a heavenly king just on those three merits on their own? Th those are three kings on their own. I know things India is just curry is insane. There is a lot more than just curry. But you can also like boil a lot of the food down to being like curry too. Because you go, you go to an Indian restaurant and you ask them, like, what is this? They'll say, oh, it's like curry. <laughs> if it's not bread, they'll tell you it's like curry. Just because they know you won't understand anything else. They know that, like, you don't have it in your, in your mandula umbligata that, like, anything besides the curry exists. So they're going to be like, it's curry. And then you try it and it's, like, not curry, but it's still fucking good. What's the count, Larry? It's good to have you here. I'm feeling well. It's like saying Japan is only ramen. Speaking of Japan... Speaking of Japan, number three, why is it small again? Number three, speaking of Japan, let's get a drink of water. It's like saying Japan's only sashimi. See, I feel like Japan has to be on here. You can't not have Japan on here. Let's get a drink of water. This is an easy one. It's almost too easy that I almost didn't include it. Japan definitely on the list. It's so easy and it's so true that I almost didn't include it just because it's so obvious. Yo, you're moving to Japan, let's go! Baka, let's go! Indian is the king of spices and sauces. Did I tell you about Indian food story when I went to the new Indian restaurant with Mama Tora that popped up? And Mama Tora is like very visibly white. She, she is the white side of my family. Um, so, we go to the Indian restaurant together, and we order curry, and she asks them, is this spicy? And he's just like, no, it is not spicy. And like tells her, like because he can tell, she's not going to be able to handle it. Then, he hands me the menu, and I say, can I get this spicy? And he's just like, hmm. 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 How spicy. And I'm like, like 7 out of 10? Because I know Indian spice is crazy. I'm not going to ask for a full spice. I know how, how that shit treats you. If number 4 is China, don't spoil! Don't spoil! I know how that shit hits you. Indian spice hits different. You can have spicy food anywhere in the world, but Indian spice will hit you so different than anything else that you're not going to be prepared for it. So I say seven. I, I can handle my spice. I can handle my spice. How did France fall off? France food is not as good as it has a reputation for. French food is not as good as it has a reputation for, in my opinion. I think it's good, but I don't think it's like that good. France is for posers. She's gonna shit fire. France is just butter. The country that gives you snails on a plate and frogs on a plate, that shit's not tasty. That's a fucking micro zoo, bro. That's spore. <laughs> French cuisine is spore. That's not food. That's, that's like creatures ink. France has a lot of food that people might be taken aback by immediately, I think. Yeah, right? It's like very strange foods. Doesn't mean they're bad, but like, I don't think they make up for the quality in anything else. French people are eating like the revolution still going on. <laughs> people are like, they see a baguette and they're like, this has to be the highest height that food has ever gone. And then like, you give them like one piece of sushi and they're like, I can never eat that. Raw fish? What are you, insane? <laughs> they have a baguette and it's like long bread and they're like, this is amazing. Dude, I, I'm an international uh, civilian, I'm an international citizen. I'm a, a culinarian of the world. And then you hand them a piece of fucking sashimi and they're just like, are you trying to fucking kill me or something? <laughs> there, I from Ratatouille rolling in his grave right now. His name is Ratatouille. He's probably in his grave. Rats have like two years. He's probably in his grave and he probably put everyone else in that restaurant in their grave too. Rats are some nasty creatures. French people aren't even the best at the baguettes. <laughs> rat at video games. She should do that. She should do that. But yeah, I feel like Japan's number three. Oh yeah, the India food story. So I asked for seven. And he looks at me skeptically. And I'm like, no, I can handle it. I can handle it. And Stray Wolf, it's great to see you. I'm like, I can handle it. 
I can do it. I'm the chosen one. He brings out a plate of curry that is like blood red. It looks like the fucked up area in Elden Ring. The red area in Elden Ring. And I think, oh no. <laughs> I think to myself, oh no. This guy is playing me dirty right now. Um, so I really hope the last king is like is the whack, comical, bland food of infomercials. I'm not ready for the last one. I'm not ready for the last one. So he brings out like the reddest curry I've ever seen. I take one bite. My nose is instantly uh, uh two two stages of grief. First, my nose is clogged. Second, my nose is runny. Uh, and those two stages of grief happened within an instant. Um, and I, I start covering my face and I, I see him walk away and I pull him back and I'm like, Hey, can I please have a, a napkin? Because there was like no napkins for some reason. And he's just like, of course, miss. Hold on. He, this motherfucker, this piece of shit comes back with the fanciest looking cloth napkin. I've ever seen in my life the shit that they have at like the Ushiromiya family household and he hands it to me as he sees that my my face is like covered in tears and snot and crying and screaming and farting and shitting and crying uh, and he's just like here's your napkin miss and I think to myself this is not a wonderful world I can't use this because they stare at me the entire time with the fancy napkin that looks like it costs 20 per uh about to wipe the snot off my face with it and i'm like thanks and i put it on my lap <laughs> i'm like thanks and i put it on my lap and then i keep eating my food because they're like watching us from the corner of the building the entire rest of the meal waiting for me to wipe my disgusting face on the napkin carolina reaper oil once I ate a Carolina Reaper in a pie. Jesus Christ. What are they having you do down there? Strategy was to eat it quick so you wouldn't burn your mouth. I did not enjoy that day. <laughs> the bad part is that you burn your mouth no matter what. Like, that's just how it is. Monty Python skit. <laughs> I like a Monty Python VTuber if you think about it not too hard. That's when you go to the bathroom and blow stuff out your nose. I don't even know if they had a bathroom, to be honest. It's like a one building place. Like you walked in there, it was like a, a, just a. You walk in and you sit down, and it was like, that's it. Your mouth didn't burn. You felt in your stomach. You started seeing static. <laughs> I had takoyaki straight off the. Um, straight off the, the. The. The fryer once. Because I forgot the fact that the entire thing was like molten lava inside. Uh, I forgot the entire thing is molten lava inside. And then. I, I bit it and I realized just how hot it was and I couldn't spit it out because I was in front of like a bunch of people and I didn't want to embarrass myself like that. So I swallowed it, the entire thing whole. This list is based on factual. This list is based on truth, uh, fact checked by American Patriots. Um, I, I swallowed it whole, the takoyaki, and I felt like when, when you jump on like in a movie when someone jumps on a monster with a with a with a sword and they like run down the monster with the sword that was the takoyaki in my throat it was like toji cutting up the dragon in jujutsu kaisen i felt that shit slide down my throat uh, at molten temperature burning my entire esophagus the way down i literally burnt my esophagus uh to the point where i couldn't eat for like another three months I burned my esophagus and that shit was hotter than my stomach because it was burning my stomach too. I could only eat like wet food, like like mushy food for three months. And even that was painful too. Exactly, it burns all the way down to the chest and even burnt my stomach too. Yours came back up, thankfully. <laughs> okay, number four. Number four. I'm gonna have to hide this one. I'm gonna have to hide this one. Okay. Number four. The fourth heavenly king of food. The fourth heavenly king of cuisine. The fourth 
the one that they don't want you to know. The one- the phone gone coming to get me. <laughs> this is the one they don't want you to know. <laughs> it's Trader Joe's. That's the- the number four heavenly king of food. <laughs> I'm a Trader Joe's truther! That's number four! Terrible list. I'm a Trader Joe's truther! It's good! Also, Castor City, it's good to see you. Opening well. Also, Tag the Reaper, it's good to have you here. <laughs> I guys tell you, you've never had the Trader Joe's fajitas? You can have everything above this on this list here. In a microwave meal form. <laughs> You can have every- No! Get them out of here! No! <laughs> Wait, we have to ban them! We have to ban Crow them! Wrangler gifted a tier I'm gonna get targeted! Gun. They're gonna hit me with strict they nine or something! Gift subs in the channel. I'm- I'm lying. It's not Trader Joe's. Number four is not Trader Joe's. It's- it's Costco. <laughs> it's Costco! What the fuck else would it be? It's Costco. You get $1.50 hot dog and drink, and the best pizza known to man. Mr. Hangover banned Fallen Gong. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Hangover, get him! We're gonna have the funniest unban request in like a month when they when they search their name like through ChatGPT or something. And then they're gonna find the stream and they're gonna be like this fucking American. We're gonna send Pipe Bomb to her house. <laughs> Lose respect for me every second? Are you not a Costco head? Are you not a Costco head? Sam's Club got the Icy? Doesn't 7-Eleven got the Icy too? Do you guys- Did you guys ever make the Icy Jungle Juice? Or are you normal? Cause whenever I went to 7-Eleven, I always took the Icy Cup and I filled it half with icy, and then I filled it half with soda, and then I filled the other half with the other icy. Sometimes I put juice in that shit too. The cats are being named Cost and Co. <laughs> the real answer is China. We have to be real with ourselves. Um, China. Because <laughs> of Fallen God. We have to be real with ourselves. I think Chinese food is by and large probably the best in the world, to be honest. Like, in terms of the, like, consistency and quantity and quality. You dodged a bullet there, Shisha. You're right, what you should have said two was Asia. Then we'd have to put fucking Korean food in there too. And Filipino food. And I don't know anything about Filipino food. I think Korea Korean food's pretty good. KBBQ? That's like all I can think of besides like, kimchi. I expected Italy or Caribbean. We're gonna... Okay. We're gonna say Caribbean is Latin America. <laughs> We're gonna say Italy and, and, and Caribbean are both Latin America. They both make the cut. <laughs> Italy, and Latin Amer Italy and Caribbean are both Latin America. They've made the cut. They're similar enough. That's why it's such a, a high place in the list here. Kings of food puts China on the list. Is China not a king of food? Is is Chinese food not goaded with the sauce? Are you not having a Peking duck? Hold on, let's look up look up Chinese cuisine. We can have scallion pancake, Peking duck, Chinese cuisine. I searched Chinese and the first thing that came up was Chinese beaver. Chinese cuisine. What are the eight main Chinese cuisine? These are just locations. Ch Chinese cuisine. These are just the locations, bro. Dishes, that's what I want. Mapo tofu. Peking duck. Hot pot. Chicken fried rice. Are you telling me? Are you telling me that this is not the goat of food? Peking duck. 
I agree with this list because my food is on this list. Is it... I'm gonna shoot my shot here. Is it number one? <laughs> Statistically speaking, in the dojo, I'm gonna guess it's number one. <laughs> I'm gonna guess it's number one. The one true heavenly king is any country that- True! What do you think all of these have in common? What do you think all of these have in common? What makes all of this food good? Rice. <laughs> it is the lifeblood of good food. I was like, yeah, it's good to have you here. Europe is in dire straits for not having access to real Latin American food. That's what I'm saying too. Whenever someone from Europe tells me they had Mexican food, I'm just like, bro, that was the Mexican food. <laughs> That was Tex-Mex. Taking over five different levels of abstraction. You love rice. We love rice. See, this is the code. The way you pronounce pecking duck, I can hear 10% Scottish in your... <laughs> we'll say that the you other part of me is definitely not following. Chinese, despite the amount of Chinese that I know. Once again, my prime, it's gonna have you here. When I tell people that I know like an amount of Chinese, they tend to assume that my mixed part is Chinese. Which is really funny to me, because I just took Chinese because they didn't have Japanese. <laughs> I took Chinese through all of high school because they didn't have Japanese. Um, and then I ended up learning a lot of Chinese along the way. And then I worked for like four years in a family-run Chinese cafe, uh, where I had to speak Chinese like pretty frequently. Uh, I don't remember most of it, I just remember like basic words and phrases. You were one of those weebs? I, I was converted off of being a weeb, and then I became what the weeb equivalent of, like, China is for a minute. <laughs> I'm like, you gotta check out the romance of the Three Kingdoms, dog. This shit is fire. <laughs> Hello, pilot. It's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. You carb lovers? I'm sleepy talking about it. See, when you want in bulk, rice is the best thing you can have in your life. A wave. <laughs> True. Okay, we're 8.45 into the stream. Let's play Tekken. I forgot we were playing Tekken today. We forgot the Tekken. It's like the the bubble bass. You forgot the pickles. You forgot the Tekken. All right, let's hop over to Tekken. When I, nothing beats rice and Laogan Ma- True! That's what I'm saying, dog. I love the picture of Anya from Spy Family that says, I want my Laogan Ma when she's going to bed. <laughs> Social credit stocks are going up. I would love, unironically, to go to China at some point. But I would love more t to go to Taiwan first. And I hope that that is not, like, an inflammatory statement to make. <laughs> because I know more people from Taiwan, and I would like to go to see it. But I would also like to go see China, too. It's a base statement. That's what I'm saying, brother. Alright. When I say, Hajime, you guys will say, Oss. Everybody ready? Everybody prepared? Hajime! Oss! Let's get it on. Let's go to Tekken. Oss, 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 oss. Oss, 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 oss. Oss, 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 oss. There he is! It's John Tekken! Alright, let me grab... <laughs> I forgot what I was gonna... Wait, we're just gonna play Tekken. I was gonna show you guys something too, but it's it's neither here nor there. In fact, it's, it's nowhere. <laughs> okay, we have the music here. We have the microphone set up here. Uh, and then we have Tekken here. Alright, let's play Tekken. Oso, oso, oso. We also open up the uh, stream deck, too. Just so I can skip music when we need to. Where is my audio source for Spotify? There it is. Maybe I should increase the Spotify music, too. Clown Wrangler gifted there we go. Sub to John Tekken. Alright, this looks really Please loud. Let me turn it down. Gift subs in the right, I hope that's better. Alright, let's get into some Tekken. We made it to red rank last time. The goal, not of this stream, but at least within like the next month, is I would love to get to purple rank. We need to get to Jets rank. Also, Clown Wrangler, thank you so much for the gifted sub to John Tekken. Much appreciated. All right, first game of the day. Uh, if you were if you were in the Discord earlier, please do not fact check this. You believe purple rank? We're gonna make it to Jets rank today. Hey, it's Dan Hiviki. Tekken from Smash. 
It's so funny that there are people who unironically... Let me check what my volume is. This is like really quiet on Tekken. Volume mixer. Where's Tekken at? Tekken's at full? Bro, that's like full and a half. Let me see if it's quiet in my... Yeah, there we go. Alright, let me turn up Tekken. Let me know what the mix volume is on the game once we get into it. Because the Tekken was like really loud earlier. You can't let Rosemi outrank here. The fucked up part... So, Leigh, are you on purple rank? We're not on purple rank yet. We got to red rank last stream, and this is the first uh, Tekken we're playing today. Okay. We can't hit it from that angle. We're hitting this shit from an Aquarius angle. Okay. No, Wi-Fi. All right, let's do it again. Okay. I don't think this would hit if I took it to the wall, though. I'm, like, too far to do a 1 plus 2 conversion here. Let's go, let's go. Ruzemi outranked me in Tekken 7 before I even started streaming it. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about, like, what she was doing before she joined Niji Sanji, because I think that's, like, bad taste. However, as that entity, she did outrank me in Tekken 7 for a while. I don't know if she still outranked me, like, later. What the hell? This person's got violence in their heart today. That's like... Alright, that should have been super punchable. That's unbreakable. This person has violence in their entire being. They're gonna take the perfect, but they're also swinging. Round two. So in a side step. One, two, three. One, two. One, two. One, two, three. That's not true. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. There you go. <laughs> Talk to my fucking hand, dog. Fight. One, two, one, 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 two. One, two, three. Nice electric. All right, nice. Uh, uh, can I hit there? No, so I tried to break the throw there, but I forgot I wasn't playing Street Fighter. <laughs> we throw. There you go. <laughs> that was supposed to be a throw instead of the, the roll. There you go. I feel like power crushes in this game feel so... What's the word? One, two, one, two, one, two. Okay. I thought we could whiff punish that, but I guess not. She likes to grab from that. Throw. Okay. Throw. Throw. <laughs> there you go. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Dude, I'm actually scared of playing ranked and god here because I heard that you get nothing if you win and you lose everything if you if you lose. GG's though. They're just gonna perfect each other back and forth. A true mirror ma Cancel! They don't want the smoke. They did not want the smoke. They said smoke? I don't detect that shit. They canceled on me. We just passed Fuiris. We did just pass Fuiris. Mr. Fuiris, you gotta keep up with us. Iron sharpens iron. Is this the Iron Fist tournament or the Iron Lake tournament? <laughs> Alright, let's go to standby here. The music is like really loud on my end too. Let me Get turn this down a bit. The next battle. Spotify. I can't even hear myself think. Let alone hear myself talk. Orange Reina better. It's funny because they were like orange rank too. Hello, plugger. <laughs> The discourse around that is so funny to me. The discourse around people being like, you can't say that. <laughs> it's really funny. Alright, we can't do it here. We have to do one, two, two, three. Yeah. So a piece of Shimada tech for me. A piece of Shimada tech for me. I'm not even gonna say that. <laughs> I'm not gonna implicate myself into this shit here. Also, Nahida Supervia, thank you so much for the follow earlier. Much appreciated. Mash the Masher. 
uh, I feel like, what's it called? Um, soft A, please. So we're not going to implicate ourselves here. I'm not going to be one of those VTubers that farms um, uh, controversy and gets, like, a following of repugnant people overnight. <laughs> I'm not going to be one of those people here. Dude, I almost pulled the trigger the other day. Um, I almost pulled the trigger the other day because there was a, a post going around that was, like, a very obvious engagement bait that was just, like, what are your hot take opinions as a VTuber? Post them here. And I was just, like... Brother, who cares? <laughs> Just stream, man. Just stream, man. But then I almost, I, I almost had the call of the void. It almost hit me. I almost retweeted it. Because, honest to God, I would say that my hottest take as a VTuber is that it kind of is disconcerting now that people have discovered that the meta is to just, like, say something that you don't actually believe in. Uh, and farm controversy from it. And that's not me saying, like, any specific thing in general, you know? Like, I'm not saying, like, this person said this, and that's, like, the way that people are doing it. I'm, like, saying, like, you, you say something that's, like, not genuine or that you believe in, but you think that a lot of people who are insane believe in that. And then you farm the people who flock to you because they're just, like, I'm taking your side on this battle. Uh, and then you get, like, a thousand plus viewers overnight, and then none of them are interesting or fun to be around. <laughs> Which is why I'm grateful for you guys, because you guys are interesting and fun to be around and not insane people. Dog Shavot, true. Also, Sentai Gabriel, it's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. That's why I stay away from, like, VTuber drama, too, because it's, like, it's, what it is to me is, it's, like, a who shoots first wins, you know? Because whoever gets drama started about them tends to win. Because nobody wants to side with someone who's, like, calling someone out and, like, starting shit. So whoever... Pe and people don't realize this either. I'm just like, you don't have to cause strife everywhere you go. You can scroll on the internet and then you can move on with your life. <laughs> Twitter, Twitter has an amazing feature that allows you to block people. You don't always have to say, this VTuber did this and, like... They said this, so therefore you shouldn't follow them. Because you know that's not going to work. They're going to have like a million people who don't even like their content coming to every stream from now on being like, I'm, I'm doing it for the cause, you know? It's like an insane meta now. Get ready for the next battle. How do you block all power scalers? That's what I want to know too. <laughs> Let me switch songs here. Oh, I hate this character. Here we go. Twitter's for following JP artists and retweet. Well, exactly. That's what I do too, usually. It's for following JP artists and fighting in people and my friends. Okay. Nice low. That's the meta on content in general. YouTubers are just, just repeating. Yeah. I would say that's probably true, for sure. Holy evasive. Holy catching, what the hell? Alright, that was on me. I know Elisa players complain about her all the time. I'm like trying to figure out what they're cooking. They're like, she's unplayable. I'm just like, where? <laughs> I tried to whip punish! How long is that shit active for? It's active for as long as her recovery is. Okay. I should have popped that one. That was on me. That was a heat. Heat smash there. I with you your just stream, brother. Yeah, I think people are are too focused on like the meta of everything instead of like making content that people enjoy. I could have punished that probably with the down forward one three. That's why I spend a lot of time trying to figure out like how to change my stream to be more enjoyable for people that don't even like fighting ends. I side step there. Or side recover. There you go. Fuck. <laughs> okay, we win, we win. 
They got. <laughs> I input it from the opposite direction. I hit that shit from an Agrarius angle. Fuck, I missed the combo. This person goes for a lot of lows, but then as soon as they try to duck them, they go for like... Yeah. And then that's a... Okay, up you go. On your way. <laughs> On your way. This won't kill, but we still have rage and we still have heat. Okay. There you go. This also won't kill too. There you go. <laughs> That's plus zero, buddy. I can just do it again. Okay. She went for a field trip. I'm also scared of like trying to figure out exactly where I can whip punish her because I feel like a lot of this character yeah, does is no, no, like oh, that was a good one. Good thing that's guaranteed. I feel like also oh, Yozora, thank you so much for the raid. Much appreciated, Yozora. It's good to see you. I hope you've been doing well. Let's go, let's go. You guys could see me win. <laughs> you came here to watch me win. Yozora, it's great to see you. I hope you're doing well. What is this bozo doing here? I know you're a- I know you're a, a Yozora head. <laughs> Yoza, I hope life's been turning you well- Dude, everyone's canceling on me today. No matter how many times I try to rematch with people, they cancel on me. But I hope everyone is having a wonderful day so far. Let me greet you guys properly. What's good, Zillow Omega? What's good, Omni? What's good, Teddy? Welcome, welcome. What's good, Saf? Or Sapez, I should say. What's good, TNT? What's good, Yozora? It's good to have you here. I hope you've been doing well. What's good, Tetsaiga? I'm doing very good today. How was your stream? What were you up to today? And Opimon, it's good to have you here. And thank you so much for the gifted sub to Yozora as well. And nobody, Yozora, I wanted to tell you actually, um, for a while, not a while, maybe like a month, um, my roommate recently got a brand new kitten. Uh, and she named her new kitten Yozorda. And I, I was just like, I should probably tell her that my roommate named the kitten the same name as her, because that's really cute. <laughs> it's really cute. Oh, let me tell you the song. This one is, um, this, the, the song ticker is not accurate right now. This is Hunter by Ken Ashcorp. This is it actually you? You live with me now? Are you my new roommate? <laughs> Are you the cat? Are you now the cat of a, of a, um... Very ardent Swifty. <laughs> I love my roommate. I just think it's really funny the fact that she's like, a, 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 like, like the most Swifty I've ever met, and I find that interesting. I don't think that that's like a, a demerit. I think that's great because I think everybody should have things that they're very interested in. But I've never spoken to someone who likes Taylor Swift to that degree before, so I found it just more interesting than anything else because I felt like I was seeing something I, I'm like not allowed to. <laughs> I felt like I was entering like a, a shadow dimension that I shouldn't be allowed in. Also, Omni, thank you for the follow too, and Yeg Boy Genius. Let me grab a tiger bear for you. Let me make this one long. Let me let me elongate this tiger bear for you. She gets free food now. <laughs> Imaginary technique. What's a hangover? Thank you for the too. Let me give you a shout out. Oh yeah, it's here. Bolatro! Bolatro! Okay, I wanted to play Bolatro. Is it multiplayer? I don't know very much about it. I know that it's a card game, and I know that Northern Lion plays it. However, he usually plays it when I'm working, so I'm not looking at his stream, I'm just listening to it. Or is it single player? I know that people say it's similar to Slay the Spire, which I believe that's single player. Cards, yeah, you're playing cards today. We should play... Maybe we'll play Bolotron on stream. We brought it up for like a split second. Because I, I've been really into Mahjong lately. Yo, so did you enjoy the game? Is it fun? Because I, I've never been like a, a... What's it called? I've never been a, a roguelike head, and I've especially never been like a deck builder head. 
So I want to know if the game's fun. She was really enjoying it. <laughs> People have been telling me, or not telling me specifically, but they've been saying that it's like the best game that they've played of that genre for like a long time. Which is shocking to me because it just looked like cards. <laughs> she played like three hours without realizing it. Oh my god. That's like me in this game. <laughs> I had the most insane encounter at the gym today. I forgot to tell you guys earlier. Um, I had the most insane encounter. We talked about my gym op. Also, second son. Thank you so much for the follow. Much appreciated. We talked about my gym op. My gym opponent. Second underscore son uh, who underscore. Who is just is a guy who's following. like randomly rude to me at the gym for no reason. Uh, I've encountered a new species at the gym. We've encountered a new type of person. Uh, there were two kids at the gym. And I'll say what their ages were after the fact. You just have to know that they're kids. It's funnier if I tell you how, how old of kids they are after. Um, and I was on the chest press machine. Uh, I was on the chest press machine, like, getting some chest in today. And I looked over, and there were two kids on the bench with, like, way more weight than they should have on it by their size. If I could just, like, eye them up and down and tell. Uh, it was, like, definitely, like, over what their PR should be. And they were, like... <laughs> they were, like, putting their entire all, like, both into it. Like, one would be benching, and the other would stand behind him and, like, put his entire back into lifting it. So it looked like one person was benching and the other person was, like, deadlifting. Um, and it was, like, a group effort. It's the indomitable human spirit at the gym. Uh, but that's not the funny part. That's not the funny part. The funny part comes after... Because what I didn't realize is that these two kids at the gym in public, uh, were, were, they are playing pretend. They are playing pretend. Which is nice. Like, you know, kids, kids should have good, good, uh, you know, make-believe. Imagination. Some, some Space fun Fun without Club is now needing your, your phone or your, your GameCube or anything like that, as, as my dad would tell me. Also, Space Fun Club and Lady Damalia. Thank you so much for stopping by. Much appreciated. Thank you for the follow. Lady Damalia uh, is now following. Some good old fun. I didn't realize that in the middle of the gym, they were playing pretend Fortnite. <laughs> I didn't realize that it, at the gym, in public, they were playing pretend Fortnite, and one would take the bar from another bench and act like it was like a gold sniper and then the other would take a, a plate and pretend it was like the riot shield and they were like running around the benches pretending to play fortnite it's adorable it's so funny i said dog night it's good to see you it was so funny uh and one kept yelling he's cracked he's cracked <laughs> I was in the middle of benching and I kept hearing, he's cracked, he's cracked. And then he he got on the fucking ground and he said, I got down, help me, help me. And like, the but watch out! There. <laughs> if this guy misses, he'll die on the spot or he will hurt himself very, 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 very badly. badly. <laughs> but watch out! So I was just like, holy fuck, kids these days. I had a true kids these days moment. Because they were just playing pretend Fortnite, and they were like, he's like, I cracked him, I cracked him. When he was like pretending to snipe with the bar. And then the other was like on the ground crawling on the fucking dirty gym floor, uh, hands and knees, getting all sorts of fucking uh, detritus and, and single, single cellular organisms on him. Like, there, there's probably some creatures living on that gym floor, you know? There's some people who don't wash definitely nearly enough that go there, so it's like... For sure, they've they've contracted something by getting so close to the ground. And then <laughs> he said, "Don't worry, bro. I'll get you a slurp juice." And then he goes to the front, and I don't even know what happened at the front. Like, I don't know if they like stopped this kid. I don't know if they like were trying to like reprimand him or anything. But he did come back with a pre-workout. <laughs> he came back with a can of pre-workout. That was called Bucked Up. And then he handed the pre-workout can to his friend. And then the friend started drinking it. And he drank the entire can of pre-workout energy supplement. Which is like 
a monster sized can that you should not drink even in like one go. You should drink it in like multiple sittings, in my opinion at least. At least if I did it, I would turn into fucking dust. So he drank it all in one and just goes, thanks buddy, I needed that. <laughs> Kids these days are so funny. They're so funny. Now, the worst part. This is the part that I was saying I was caving it for later. Get ready for the next these battle. kids, they weren't like 12. They weren't like 12. They were like 17. <laughs> they weren't kids, dog. They were like 17. That's the funny part. Is that they weren't like, like middle schoolers, they were like 17 year olds. And I was just like, there's still whimsy in this world. There's still whimsy in this world. Right, let's do it. I need to get better at this tech here. If I can hit three in a row. Dudes rock, dudes rock. <laughs> they live in life. <laughs> they could be going to war next year, yeah. Mm -hmm. Listen, they're prepared. Oh, here he is. As much as I hate fighting drag, he is cool as fuck. He's got that shit on. <laughs> as much as I hate fighting him, he's got that shit on. Bay Hachi is his name. Pretty sure that's what they call Reina. Is that it? He's also a mighty ruler, so. Oh, fuck. Alright. As long as we play smart, we should be fine. Too big. There you go. Listen, we have that shit on. It's not gonna work. One, two. Side step. One, two, three. He mashes after. That's like minus a million. One plus two. It's a two. What the fuck? <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> he jump scared me. There you go. <laughs> he jump scared me. I didn't realize he could do that. Dude, drag players be pulling out new things every time I fight one. Can I slow? So how do you deal with wall running too? Ah, oh, fuck. They are evolving. How do you do with wall running tier? Is it a side step move? Side walk? One, two, three. Hold down. Pulling down to work there. Oh, it's not gonna work. His character's a grappler. His pressure is to stop somewhere and then we could jab. That's not fast enough. He jabs after. I'm gonna probably lose this one. Throw. Throw. Nice break there. Ah, uh, his lows are so good. His lows are so good. You would also like to know how to do with wall running too. too. I feel like most of the dojo plays like these war criminal characters and then all of us hate Dragonov equally. Ah, oh, fuck. Like, what do you do? <laughs> That's such a good mix. Okay. Hop kick. Mid. Bite of 87. What the fuck? <laughs> wait, wait. Huh? What did I just do? Wait, I'm flabbergasted. What the fuck? <laughs> what? Do you guys see that? You have to hop kick that on reaction, it's goofy. Do you really hop kick it? Is that the answer? Oh my god, we lost so- What is everyone's problem today? People don't want to work. <laughs> what the hell is everyone's problem today? Show me your profile, hold on. Show me your Steam profile. I'm gonna take a look at this. You're gonna one and done me playing Dragonov? Show me your Steam profile. I'm gonna take a look at this. You guys won't be able to see it, but I'm gonna take a look at this. Steam profile. No shot. No fucking way. You're kidding. This- what the fuck? 
You're kidding me. Okay, hold on. Hold on. You're kidding me. <laughs> I was expecting something funny from a Dragonov who won and duns. I was not expecting this, however. We have a the screenshot here from my my decroted screenshot folder. This shit has like a thousand photos in it now. That guy's gonna tell me. <laughs> this is who won and done me. <laughs> I got one and done by Ghetto Suguru, what the fuck? Bro, what the hell? He was right. He is gonna do genocide. I got fucking one and done by the genocide guy. I can't fucking believe this. This is insane. He he one and done me and then he he told me that I should die for having no cursed energy. Yeah, get rid of this guy. I wish you could block one and dunners, but apparently blocking doesn't actually do anything. He knew you were a Yuta fan. He knows that Yuta's the goat. They call him 007. Zero neutral, zero mental. Seven Warren and two. If you one and done me, I take that as fair game to be rude to you. <laughs> also, what's Rogan? It's good to see you. Hope you're doing well. If you one and done me, I take that as fair game to make jokes at your expense. So 007, zero neutral, uh, zero mental, seven wall running twos is definitely what we're gonna be saying here. Geto would play Dragonov. I feel like Geto would play Horong as well. He does a lot of kicks. Why did I do that? What the hell is happening in, in red rank? I tried to hold down after, but I guess I need to hold down sooner. Okay. I never know when to duck Hua. Because I don't even know what he does. Ah, oh, nice one. <laughs> yeah, if you have the cosplay, that was Draco. That that wasn't uh, Dragonon, that was Geta. That was, isn't that like his just regular alternate too? What the hell is this move? Bro, what is this character doing? Duck. There we go. Four wrong players gotta explain themselves. Ah, oh, fuck. I guess I got a two. Throw. Is that Jin wearing drip in the background? What the hell? There's a- there's a advertisement in the background that looks like Jin wearing supreme drip. There we go. We need some waivers here. We need some wavers here. Okay. Wasn't a true electric, but it's fine. I think the answer to this too is like... What the fuck? <laughs> what is this move? He just uses it all the time. Man's probably just puts the toilet paper on and roll facing the wall. <laughs> Let's use this one. Alright, this is not gonna work. Okay, you break. Why are whole wrong players like... <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna be mean. Oh my god. <laughs> There's something wrong with them. There's something wrong with that. One and done, you motherfucker. What the hell is your problem? Okay. Oh, uh, he's a fucking console player. No wonder. Get out of here. These one and done motherfuckers. What's their problem? Is this just what people do once you hit red rank? You're scared of, um... People learning the bullshit that you're doing? Because I want to tell you, he was not doing anything besides the same move that's like a stupid Huarong knowledge check. So once you learn the knowledge check, it doesn't matter anymore. Does he not want to learn anything else? Is that what he's doing here? Is he wanting Dunning because he can't do anything else besides the the uh, power crush into Get hop kick into low into battle. power crush and hop kick into low? Is that what's happening here? Is that how he got here? Because brother, I want to get him back down. I was thinking of the water. <laughs> how do you think they got to Red Ring? That's how I feel too. That's exactly what it is. It's like... The way he played is like so knowledge check heavy. 
Oh, nice one. That's cool. This cause is mixing. I'm in the blender. Okay. It's minus. One. Okay. Hey, he it's me, Goku! He doesn't respect the plus rooms yet, but he does duck. He's good at adapting. Can we go for low next? Cause in. Breast cancer support. Cause you drip. Fight. Someone told me that he's got alligator leather on. Alligator leather. Uh, that's launch punishable for sure. Two. One. Ah, oh, nice one. Two. Two. Go. Nice break there. We can win punish. One, two, three. Okay. I thought I can do. There you go. I thought I could do the mid there, but I didn't get him in time. He's dripped out because he knows no one can dodge him. That's not saying here. Kazuya has the best drip in the series. Oh, fuck. It's insane to me that that's not punishable. I think I tapped down for like a split second there. Uh, I shouldn't use Power Crush there. It wouldn't even save me. Man, Majide, it's good to have you here. I hope you're doing well. It's good to see you. I'm like fucking pissed off at that one Harong. Brother was playing like they got a gun to their family's head, and if they don't rank up to purple, then they're gonna like shoot them. Ah, fuck, nice one. We blocked these? We fucking blocked these? Oh, good break there. We call them out. Nice. That was good, that was good. He deserved that one. I think I'm gonna rank down to be honest. He's got evil swag. If this guy ones and duns me. We finally have, we finally met a real human soul in Tekken 8 tonight. Tiger Bros, we finally met a real human soul in Tekken 8 tonight. And it's the Kazuya player. <laughs> Ka I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna bat for Kazuya players for the rest of my life tonight. After tonight, Kazuya players, I'm on your side. We play the same archetype. I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking bat for these people now. Oh never mind. <laughs> they provide they have the the high crushing mid or the high crushing low. There you go. I can do the same thing. Okay. Nice duck there. This guy's pretty good to be honest. Ah, oh, that was a mistake. I've been using that move like way too often and incorrectly. He's really good at adapting. I think he's fought Reina's a lot. Mishima Brotherhood. Up you go. On your bike. One, two. Big damage. That's what we're looking for. Throw. Throw. Nice. It's like really evasive move. <laughs> he tried it. He tried it. On the two throw. Ah, uh, it's not punishable. I missed. I lost. I hit the wrong button. I meant to do forward four. And Avian, it's good to see you. It's crazy that you can faint that, but I mean, Reyna can do similar stuff too. Here, one. The disrespect there. I thought there was a mid. What the heck? <laughs> this is an unforeseen circumstance. Ah, oh, hold on. Miss some input. Dude, I'm like sweating right now. Yeah, I'm like really sweating right now. There you go, we win this. We take this round with the online special. This is the, the only whip punish I thought of that could win. <laughs> this is the only whip punish I thought of that would win us the game. I'm still not over the fucking Fortnite lifters. 
Yeah, maybe we should follow Miss Kazuya's footsteps and use our 50-50s more. Nice throw. I think it's a two throw, to be honest. Nice. Nice, all right, we probably derank soon. We might derank soon if we don't pull something out here. You lose so much in this rank and you gain so little. We're, we, we're, you have to play like, um, uh, uh, Sisyphus and push the boulder up the hill. Especially if you play Reyna, honest character. <laughs> so exhausted tonight, but I want to pop in and say hi. I appreciate that, Shady. It's great to see you. It's always good to have you here. Would you be a shoemaker if it paid enough in the US? Search dope craftsmanship, craftsmanship career. We just got all the drags tonight. I am. I would say that I'm a sneakerhead in terms of like, I think that sneakers and stuff are so cool. Anarchy reigns OST, let's go. Side set? Sidewalk? How do you. Okay, okay. How do you hop pick that on reaction? I'm like. You, that's not how it works. If this guy ones and dones, I'm gonna like actually do something I'm gonna regret saying on stream. I tried to do what was uh, advised earlier. Throw. We win. Take this. <laughs> you motherfucker! You motherfucker, take this! I told you. You hop kick snake edge, not while running too. Also, Fishmas, I hope you're doing well. Games are pretty good so far. We took a few L's, but we're gonna win. Take this, you fucking running motherfucker. Why don't you go run a marathon if you want to raw run too? Also, Karen, it's good to see you. One, two. He can break one throws. But can he break two throws? He can break two throws. He can break two throws. One, two. Alright, this is too far. Let's go. <laughs> you can dish it out, but you cannot take it. Also, Kavala GMC, it's good to have you here. We combo out this. Two, three. We team the wall. Mid. Alright. Nice shoulder. Throw. Unbreakable. Ah, uh, okay. On bottom. <laughs> we don't demote. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. We we ducked the demotion allegations. We ducked the demo allegations. Let's fucking go. Watch him play. That's what I'm scared of tear. He might demo at this one. Also, Joe, it's good to have you here. Don't wall run kick. Wall run. Don't hop kick our uh, WR tier. Yeah. Uh, I had some advice earlier that I think was like. Uh, aimed at the wrong thing and I like took it the wrong way. Two. Get fucked. Okay. Dude, I did that in training mode. Two, three. One, two. One. Aw, oh, fuck. Just input. There you go. Get slapped. Get slapped. Let's go. <laughs> We're so back. Back dash. I'm gonna go for low soon. He whiffed there. Throw. If he didn't whiff there, we would have probably fucking beefed it. Yeah, that's very punishable. Low. Throw. He's not ducking the throw yet, so. Alright. We react to these? Uh, we would have grabbed in time. We punish. Just one more, and we dem on this guy. All in a day's work against drag players. <laughs> As if I don't play a, a fucking demon myself. One, two. Two. One, two. One, two. Just far enough. One. Oh, nice there. Alright, he's gonna mash here, so one, two, three. One, two, one, two. Side step, one, two. Side step, one, two, three. One, two. Uh, nice one. Low. There we go. <laughs> Let's go! 
Let's go! Dude, I feel the blood pumping through my veins right now. That was a good one. That was a good one. GG's. Holy shit. You sure you changed? You've gone to the bloodlust. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That was a good one, though. That was a good one, though. Also, in this garden, it's good to see you. It's always good to have you here. I hope you've been doing well. That was a good one. I came to a realization today. I came to a realization today that in an attempt to be so different or to be so cultured and culturally educated, I've, I've come around the horseshoe to be clueless again. <laughs> I've made such an effort to like watch kenography cinema uh, from like countries around the world that are like kind of like out of the public eye. Probably if you're like a freak here, you know about them, right? Like Chidaishi movies, of course. But I did not understand the fact that uh, I've I've gone all the way across the other end of the horseshoe and I've become clueless again. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else could relate to this, but I was talking to my trainer today, and also Uncle Kong, it's good to have you here. Welcome, welcome. I was talking to my trainer today, and he asked, uh, what horror movies I've seen recently, because he knows I like scary movies, and I was just like, I haven't really seen any horror movies lately, but uh, I watched one a bit ago that I liked called Wreck. I was like, what's Wreck? And I'm like, it's short for record, it's like a movie from Spain. It's like a movie from Spain, why are you watching that? I was like, because it's good. And then he says, have you seen The Conjuring? And I go, no. Knowing that The Conjuring is like an extremely famous American like horror movie. And then he's like, have you seen Sinister? And I'm like, no. <laughs> I haven't, and I hadn't even heard of that one. Um, and I'm like, but I watched, I have a good movie called, um, Senoritsu Kaiki File. <laughs> oh my god, I became, I became that guy. You know, the one that's always just like, I don't deal with modern cinema. I, I watched the Criterion Collection. I've become the cinephile. But like, it's it's not like I know the media, you know? It's not like I'm like aware of like popular media now. I've gone so far to the back rooms of like watching movies and stuff that like now I just don't know the popular ones. Like I don't know anything about them. So I didn't know anything about The Conjuring. I was just like, isn't that one that's like part of a series? And then I didn't know anything about Sinister and he's just like, He's like, what do you watch? And I'm like, well, I like to watch things from across the world. <laughs> I felt like I like, I gave him like a bad taste in his mouth when I was telling him the shit that I was watching. Because it's like, it hit me. I was just like, damn, I actually like don't know. Someone is like telling me about like a song like that's like popular on the radio. And I'm like, I don't know what that is. Like I, I and I'm not like the type that's just like, oh, I listen to video game music and, and Mori Calliope. I'm like, no, I like listen to like, indie Japanese bands and like shit from across the world, you know? Like, like, I listen to like uh, uh, a lot of like indie rappers and stuff. So like, I just didn't know the popular music at that point, which is like, that's not being cultured. That's like being like secluded, but on the other end of it. It's a Lori Mapsum, it's good to have you here. And Astro, it's good to see you. Honestly, just watch what you enjoy. Yeah, you shouldn't be proving yourself in terms of like, what you enjoy is like superior or better or like you're enjoying stuff right but it didn't make me realize the fact that i am secluded now dude it was reina i want to get the the shirt not the jacketless right now holy fuck that was not what i meant to say earlier Duck. stand one two three all right one two three okay that's one there If she tries to do 4 2 into that, we're gonna do uh, something with Power Crush, because that works really well against her. Backstep. Okay. Low. Awesome, low. 
Does she have combos out of this? She does have combos out of this. One, two, throw. She tried to counter hit me. It's not gonna work. Two, three. One, two. Okay. What the hell? <laughs> that charge from all the way down the lane. Two. We don't win this one. We lose this one. Yeah, we lose this one. This will kill. Alrighty there, chat room. <laughs> Have you ever heard of the Heart Sutra? This will not kill chat room. There you go. That's like punishable by like 13, I think. I'm gonna teach them the Heart Sutra. Teach them that the, the Gion Shoujo Bells teaches us the impermanence of all things. I know this one. I did my homework. I play this character. One, two, three. We didn't do one, two, three. Throw. Listen, I did my homework. This is my character, dog. One, two. One, two. There we go. Glad I didn't throw rock. <laughs> Good old rock. Glad I didn't throw rock there. I was like, Helen VT, it's gonna have you here. Holy moly, SMT Demi Fiend. Did you guys see the new. No one's a real one in this rank. Everyone's fake as hell in this rank. They don't wanna throw hands. Dude, I'll throw hands with you even if I know I'm gonna demote because that's life experience. That's life experience. You gain that by doing, you know? You don't just get better because you win more, you get better because you lose more. That's how you get better. So the new SMT just got announced, and it is for every major console. It is SMT5 Revenge, which is like the latest in Atlas's running saga of making a, a better version of their game that's like two years old. Um, as they did with like Persona 5 Royal uh, and SMT4 Apocalypse and stuff like that. You can't transfer your save file to the new one. However, you can transfer three demons to it. Which has to be the funniest thing possible. Because why just three? <laughs> why just three? You only want it done when you're super tilted? Yeah, I feel- Okay, okay. I feel like when it's the loser side, I don't blame them. If it's the winner side, I'll like skin them alive. But if it's the loser, I'm like, I'm not going to blame you for it because I'd be tilted too. Especially if it's like bad connection or something. We can't afford four demons. It's so funny because it's like the fucking like dog, like dog, bear, and and mouse puzzle. How will you get these three demons across into the new game? It's so cool that smart thing to do with these games to wait two years after release to buy the actual. F exactly, I didn't even finish SMT five. I did buy the original, but I never finished it, and now I feel like I can actually play through it. So at least I didn't like waste my time. Who says they're not? I don't know if I greeted you properly earlier, but it's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Because time is money, you know? Those games are like 50 hours long at minimum. That's at least like how long it took me to be SMT4 for sure. Get ready for Alice is running a saga and making a bad game and then selling it to you. But it's actually fine this time. <laughs> I feel like Alice games are by and large like great, you know? I'm of the opinion that Persona 5 is good. And I know people don't like that one. Uh, not counter. There we go. I know people don't like Persona 5, but I think it's pretty good. Right, this is minus 3 on hit. So we can't really do much after this, but a lot of people don't know that. What's the Baron? It's good to have you here. I hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a good evening so far. Get ready for the next battle. When and done Panda and Bears. That's fair. They're not even playable characters. Venice Rear is a whole new game, which is so funny. Like, you can tell that, like, what the hell? What? Wait, that's not Lee? That's not Lee? Who is this? <laughs> that's not Lee, that's Liam! Hey, not punishable. He's not. Yeah, he doesn't know either. One, two, three. One, two. One, two. Throw. That was genius. That was genius. 
But we're smarter. <laughs> it's literally the meme of the guy, uh, like looking through his entire flowchart, being just like, "Okay, if I press this here, and if I press, ah, oh, I, I did duck. I did do it, but I didn't do it right." <laughs> and then the other person just like forward forward two. One, two, three. Ah, he's smart. He's smart. We do mids next. We do mids next. We probably lose this one to be honest. One, two. He also. Oh, nice one. Yeah. He doesn't know that it's minus three. Round three. He also likes to mash on his controller after he wins, so that's like not a sign of someone I get along with, to be honest. <laughs> there you go. He does. He's pretty smart. What the hell? Dude, this is like a whiff. A whiff bonanza. This Lee is like stupendous. <laughs> He looks like Drake, but like the cartoon Drake. No, he looks like Michael Mathers. One. Oh. Mid. 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 That wasn't a mid, I tricked you. One, two. One. One, two. Grab. There you go. We're still in it, we're still in it. We can take this one. Final round. He can block in that stance? The tarnation. Give this guy anything. Throw. One, two. One, two. Ah, oh, that was a good counter hit there. Dude, that wasn't just the counter hit four, that was the whole counter hit carton. Hello? Good. Did we whiff punish him with this? You should be good. Oh my, just frame skyrocket. Let's go! Let's go! Oh no, let's no! Oh no, the online special! <laughs> I can't even be mad. I can't even be mad. But if this guy wants and nuns, um. I hope he never took swimming lessons as a kid and decides to go to the lake. Let's see. Okay, he's cool, he's cool. All right, all right, dogs, shooters, call out, call out the shooters. He's cool, he's cool. Call out the shooters. <laughs> he's cool. You can put the safety back on. He's cool. It's so funny that like doesn't work. His one is like plus one, I think, right? Here. Thank God that's guaranteed. I don't want to live in a world where Reyna's shit is not guaranteed for that. There you go. Hold your fire, hold your fire! They can't be recalled. At least they'll have a great last game. Two, one, two, three, four. Mid, mid, oh. Not too far. I could have wave dash into, oh my lord. <laughs> this is what we call a scrambling guilty gear. I know the streets hate this character. Oh, oh, nice one. He disrespected me. Round three. Fight. Two. One. Two. Pumal is now following. We throw. Two. One, two, three. One, two. Scaling. One, two, three. There we go. Dude, this is counting with Shisho. <laughs> if I don't count out loud, I won't be able to like remember the hit confirms. Also, Fuma or Fumali, it's good to have you here. Thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Oh my lord. Hydrogen bomb type guy. Okay. One, two. Oh, I stepped into it. I stepped in that one too. Okay. One. We're gonna try this here. It's not gonna kill, but we still have heat. 
And if we have heat, we can use it on block and mix him up after. And if we mix him up after, it will kill. There we go. That's what I was looking for. That's what I was looking for. I saw that we had heat, so I didn't want to spend it. Because I figured that if we used the heat ender at the wall on wake up, he would have to block the mix up, and that would be so much mental stack that he wouldn't know to duck the throw. Because I used mid after Heaven's Wrath for like the last four times. That mind of Shisho. Mind of Shisho. People people tell me I play like a gorilla. If I'm playing like a gorilla, I'm playing like fucking Coco. <laughs> I'm playing like the sign language gorilla, bro. Still a gorilla, but still. At least a more intelligent one. Think to the right. I'm gonna get perfect here. What's this character doing? Round two. Fight. What does his launchers work when I'm crouched but mine don't? Oh, nice little kick. Listen, we don't tolerate hop kicks here. This is not hop kick gaming hour. He hawkins every time. <laughs> Maybe that's the answer. Maybe that's the answer to Reina's wave dash is to hop kick. Oh, two. Oh yeah. Oh, two. Yeah, that was nice. We might not win this set, but at least we won a cool game. Play like King Kong. Yeah, the fucking king of the jungle. This is not looking good. We don't really have a lot of recoverable health. But we do have spirit. That's the most important part. Fuck. Two. We don't die from this. He hits again. We win. <laughs> the online special, let's go! He's throwing strings! You have banana. You're playing with Coco, you may be an ape, but you can still communicate. Did you guys know that that shit was like fake? Also dead? People people were saying that like the Coco stuff is like fake. Is he playing? One, two. Good wall break. This supposed to be at the wall, which is not good. Too far. The recovery on that is like absurd. The recovery on that's absurd. What the heck? That should be like minus thirteen. One two, one two. I have electric one dog kick from here. All right, we might win the set. I thought Coco the gorilla was real, but I didn't. I I heard like down the line that it was like fake, and also like the things that they were reporting that she was saying was like not even what she would have been saying. Which kind of is like funny, how would he even prove that part? He's not really evasive launchers. But I guess we can just duck them. Or, or block them. Oh, two. Oh, I'm gonna die here. Okay. No! Cringe! GG. This is a good one. That was a good one. GG. Kind of fumbled at the end, but it was still good. We took it to the very end there. It's a very even match. It's Jake from like source. It's Jake from like source code. What? <laughs> Jake Gyllenhaal. Okay, it's Jake Gyllenhaal. I see, I see, I see. You think gorillas are real? She was living too long with Coco, becoming Coco. <laughs> I took my meds and they took Coco away. Discord leaks revealed Coco was saying slurs the entire time. No! Get ready Not Coco! Dude, what's- they took- I went into Gorilla Cord, and they were talking shit about me. <laughs> I went into the secret Gorilla Cord, and they were talking shit about me. I was flabbergasted. I was just like, how could they talk shit about me like this? I was their friend.
Come on, Coco and Harambe. They're all shit talking me. <laughs> You know a German dude thought gorillas could understand humans but pretended not so they could avoid manual labor? <laughs> That's so funny that they thought that that would like avoid manual labor because I felt like the labor that they make animals do is way more demeaning. Yo, this guy's got it on. He's got it on. One, two, three. It's plus minus 13, right? One, two. Lucky duck there. That's an ignorant low. That's an ignorant mid. What the fuck is this character, dog? Though? One, two, two, three. Ah, uh, you motherfucker! He called in the Allegan Empire against me. Round two. Fight. He called in the entire Allegan Empire against me. I break these. Jack has to be like the most ignorant motherfucker. GG. Jack players use the crayon with their entire fist. <laughs> they hold the pencil with their entire fist. Okay. Nice one. Dude, there's no shot. Like, half of these are lows. He's hitting, like, my abdomen. Oh, fuck. Throw. We might win this one. Oh, two. There we go. They draw hard. <laughs> they like to taste the lead before they draw. <laughs> Like, it's, it's like such a character like I don't understand, to be honest. Like, I don't get Jack players, I don't get Jack the character. Cause it's like, why would you play him? <laughs> like, why would you represent yourself with Jack? <laughs> not gonna be rude. I'm not gonna be rude. They did play very well. They did play very well. Is Jack- Okay, be honest with me. Is Jack hard? He's the real gimmick character? He feels like a gimmick character, Chad A. You kneel. He just feels like a gimmick character. I'm like, what does he do? Throw. I can't tell what's a low and what's a mid. Cause all of his shit hits me in the fucking abdomen. Come on. Sidewalk? Don't block inside now. Oh my god. Little Rock'em Sock'em honest poking. There's nothing really honest about any of this. damage with this there. Okay, we can punish that with wall standing one, which is good to know. Because wall standing one's pretty good. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what the fuck? Is King with better stand up? Like, stand-up comedy? One, two, one, two. Oh fuck, I missed the combo. We would've had a good heat ender there. Nice low. I can't tell what I can duck and what I can't duck. One, two. Force 1179 is now following. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? Jack Seinfeld. What's the deal with these ambiguous lows and mids? 
Holy shit, no respect. What's good, Mary Gates? Always good to have you here. Jack is a character of all time. What does he do? <laughs> what does he do? Also, ADTR, thank you so much for the offering. Much appreciated. What does he what does he even do? That's a that's a watch the replay for sure. Me hold on. What does he even do? This is how I feel about Jack. The two the two things that I feel about Jack are are the satanic LeBron James and then this picture. What does he even do? <laughs> what does he even do? Besides like doing all your health in like two hits. Potemkin ask Potemkin core ass character. He's like Potemkin for sure. Except like uh, from what I could tell, he's like not bad. He punch and he kick. This is a true punch kick merchant. Man, it has been a minute since you've been here. It's nice to have you here. I, I, I do appreciate you coming back to, to say hi. He's funny. I guess he is funny. I sound more HD. I do have a new microphone. I do have a new microphone. I hope I sound better. Uh, I've been told to add more compressor to my microphone, so I'll probably get some feedback on it later. Also, Force, thank you so much for the follow. Much appreciated. Nice pants with the image. Fits perfectly. He's got that shit on, unfortunately. Listen, I'm a hater, but when you have that shit on, I have to be able to, like, acknowledge it, you know? If you have that shit on, you have that shit on. And he has that shit on. What happened to the old mic? <laughs> Tell him to bring the whole ocean. We gotta get some fucking water in his lungs. Get ready for the next battle. Like, what does he even do? We, we figured out punching him like this here. It's good. If he does the low. But it's like, I don't know. One of my main issues with Tekken 8 Online is the fact that everybody plays the same five characters. For the next battle. Until they bring up shit like this. <laughs> Let me switch the music here real quick. It's the same five characters, and then, like, they take out the homework character. Paul Wrong is your favorite? He's so cool, but I hate fighting him, and I hope you understand. Not hit Von Lee. He's so cool, but, like, I don't like fighting him in the slightest. Because it's like, he's homework. I don't know how to describe Paul Wrong besides the fact that he's, like, a homework character. Where, like. Oh, I could have. This from Skyrocket? Uh, it's probably punishable for sure. Like he's he's literally homework. One, two, three. More so than like the other characters you have to fight in this game. For the most part, at least. One, two. Cause he's like just all ambiguous strings. This one is hard. Good break there, nice. Too bad I can break too. Okay. The only thing I really know about this Thank character you, yeah, too is that people tell me to um oh, fuck, I fucking missed the combo. I'm really inconsistent with that combo. He gets hit by it every time. Are we side swapping? <laughs> we side swap. Deku is now following. Oh, this is Sophie! Sophie, it's good to see you again. I hope you're doing well. I saw you were doing a tournament earlier. How is your stream? I hope you had fun. Welcome Raiders. We're playing Hall Wrong right now, or fighting him, at least. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Mid. Hold on, there's a high. Mid. High. One, two, three. I have to beat him because you guys are watching. Sophie is like the queen of Tekken. They have given 14 gift subs in the channel. So I have to, I have to show off a bit for her. <laughs> Sophie, I hope you had a wonderful stream today. Welcome Raiders. I hope you guys are all doing really well. Thank you so much for the follows. Peppery Ashura and Audeku. Also, AFK and Audeku. Sophie. Louis Big Papa. Speedy. Nighttime. Koma Mitsuya. Uh, let me say everybody. Oh, this guy canceled on me. He doesn't like me ducking his string. <laughs> he doesn't like me ducking his string. That makes him mad. Also, Clown Wrangler, thank you so much for the gifts out to Sophie, too. And Yammers, it's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. And Chronicle, it's good to have you here. Shimano's using plagiarized frame data. We're, we're making up the frame data, and then we're telling it to them wrong. 
Spang so hard he went to standby. He took his ass back to Korea. Rage quit. At least he didn't rage quit. At least he just left after. He didn't plug on us. Also, look, it's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Had a great stream. You're very kind. I hope you had fun. Was it was it a Sophie Punch tournament? Or was it were you entering a tournament? Was it pa paper papery Oshira? It's good to have you here. I hope you're doing well. And Elkite, it's Elkid good to see you. Elkid underscore is Coinbox not following. Coinbox Hungrybox tournament. Dude, I keep... Okay. I got a little mad about it. <laughs> I got a little mad about it. About that tournament. Because it's hosted on a Wednesday at 3 p.m. Pacific time. Which is insanity to me. <laughs> It starts on a Wednesday at 3 p.m. Pacific time. And I was like looking at my my work calendar and I'm like, I can't do this one. <laughs> I guess like, you know, it's not my time zone across the world, obviously. So what, what doesn't work for me works for like 7 billion other people. But I thought it was really funny to do it in a time that like stops the majority of the west coast from entering <laughs> maybe that's why because i think hungry box is east coast right i think hungry box is east coast he's trying to filter out all the west coast e uh, internet <laughs> we're talking bikini bottom and push we're taking bikini bottom and pushing it somewhere else they don't want west coast to win we're already winning the food game west coast best coast that's what i'm saying dog that's what i'm saying sean dude we had a heated discussion earlier where i said West Coast and the South both have the best food. Uh, and then it's like on equal measure. Because West Coast has the entirety of like the world in in walking distance from each other in high quality restaurants. And then the East Coast has like sheets and 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 New York. <laughs> I wonder if I can duck a high here. I feel like the 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 fucking high I get out of ducking highs is like taking over my brain. I should probably be minus thirteen, right? Oh, that's a cheesy hop kick. Help! I'm so scared of losing to orange rings. Cause I know I'm not gonna like gain anything if I win. On two. Ah, too late. On two. Oh, I pressed there. <laughs> I press there. VL underscore. I know, finally a new character. I remember when people said this guy was like busted in the in the beta. But I've never seen anyone rep oh my god. That was a fumble from both of our side. Also Sophie, how did you do in the tournament by the way? I forgot to ask you. Oh my god. Conk is messing with the microphone right now. Nice slow. I don't know what to do against this guy. I need to, uh, like, charge for my offense more tier. Because I, I do, like, the same thing and I just hope it works. Oh my lord. Did okay, lost to some unfamiliarity. That's... That's, like, how I feel about Tekken recently. I think we're getting to a point in Tekken where it's like, you can feel competent at the game, but you can still, like, lose really hard to things that you're just not familiar with. Which is, like, true for all Tekken, but, like... It's like everyone is feeling that with this one, as opposed to just like the beginners. One. Oh, nice one. I'm not sure if I can do a 4 3 1. Get some distance. One, two. There you go. We can still take this one. Oh, that means Titan or Demigod from Buddhism. Yeah! I took uh, Buddhist courses in college. I think Neo is the coolest Buddha, Buddhist deity. Oh, there you go. One, two, four, one, two. Okay. I'm not gonna really convert off that. Like, my offense right now is kind of like, I do the same thing, and if you get hit by it, it's your fault. Okay. Sorry, but he enters, like, not great. But we do have health again. Good throw. I say, <laughs> I say to myself. I say to myself. Also, Vile X and half and half. It's great to have you here. Okay. I'm gonna sidestep. One, two. I'm gonna do some jabs and a sidestep. One, two. One, two, three. So we're gonna vary our offense here. One, two. 
Um, he didn't punish. That's not exactly what I wanted to do. I was trying to do one, two into this here. Throw. If he's at a wall, there you go. I was gonna say if he's at a wall, he dies for it. Noah's check hurts a lot. Yeah, Noah's checks really do hurt a lot in this game, more so than I feel like in any other fighting game right now. Beside from Grand Blur. <laughs> Claudia player won the whole coin box, right? Really? Really? I feel like, I don't know, we're, we we estimate the strengths of a lot of characters without like looking at the rest of them. Also, thank you, Jetfax. Thank you. It's good to have you here. My Moon's course is she listened to a month beatbox, Hearts to Jay. <laughs> we, we found a, a video of a, a Buddhist monk beatboxing the Heart Sutra, which is really funny. Alright, I'm gonna just spend heat here so I don't waste it. Because it's round one. Oh fuck. I thought it was gonna track. There you go. Oh, too far, too far. How's the ranking going? It's going pretty well so far. We've. I feel like. Okay, I feel like. To progress in red rank, a lot of what we're gonna need to do is find new ways to do offense. Because a lot of my offense gets kind of stale. Unless I'm like really pushed hard for it. Two. And another thing too is like learning how to punish better. A few techniques that I think are gonna really help me are getting more consistent electrics. There we go. Getting more consistent electrics and better wave dashing. Those are the two things I think might help me a lot. Um, and also like more consistent with punishing too. One, two. One, two. One, two, oh. Talk about tracking. I'm not playing double gen right now. <laughs> I'm not playing double gen, it's not gonna track you. Okay. One, two, three. Plus four. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay, okay. We can probably win off this. Oh, no, we can't. I thought Heat Dash would combo into the air. What the fuck? <laughs> what is he doing? What is he doing? You win. He was just throwing something out there. I didn't even see that move before. This is a never, never before seen move. Uh, this second is insane on knowledge checks. I think a lot of legacy players are also having a hard time too because of the fact that there's like so many new mechanics uh, and things that were the same for a while have now been changed, like jailing strings. Want your two pennies? Please give me your two pennies. I would love advice. Also, Sophie, would you like to play together again? Would you like to have a run back before? We can do a real uh, first to three. <laughs> we could do a real first to three real quick, and I can head back to ring after. Yeah, it'd be fun. It'd be fun. So you play a match. Pretty sure I have you added on second, right? Community. Maybe I don't, which is a problem. Friends list. Show me Sophie. I do not have you added. You messaged me on Steam? Sounds good. I should be listed as offline, so you're gonna have to find me. Create session. So if you guys don't know, Sophie is, like I said before, uh, like a Tekken queen. <laughs> Sophie is like a god of destruction in Tekken, like in a literal sense. So I, I'm gonna have to play my brain out here. I'm gonna have to really play my brain out for this one. Yeah, I have you added on Steam. I pulled up the Steam overlay again, and it brought me to the fucking ghetto guy that left. <laughs> Alright, let me invite you. Invite to game. Let me find good music for this too. Also, Chill Pill 19, it's good to have you here. I hope you're doing well. Chill Pill 19 is Dude, now following. I just finished Yakuza Gaiden. And I'm not gonna spoil the ending of Yakuza Gaiden, because I feel like everyone should experience it once in their life. But... I've never been so emotionally compromised by a video game before than Yakuza Gaiden, the man who erased his name. I've never been compromised to such a strong degree by a video game before. This was a game that hurt me so deep in my soul. <laughs> well, then, Darko, it's great to see you. Shimon's about to use 200% of her power. 
pretty exhausted to see you'll do fine. This is the only way I have to win. Also, Sunset, it's great to see you. I hope you're doing well. Electric working on that uh electric working on that is good. Working on punishes is good for you, only when you really need long distance with punish. Down forward two is a good one. Down forward two does seem like a good punish, but I think I need a better combo for the punish. Let's do what's a good song here? No, they took away one of my favorites. No. Spotify took away one of my favorite songs. Let's do um this one. This one. That's when you love it out. I'm the type of person who needs the Google Doc. <laughs> I'm the type of person who needs the Google Doc. If someone got the Google Doc on them with the good combos. As Core A Gaming would say, I'm a I'm a honer, not an innovator. Get ready for the next Sajim was too scared to fight her. Didn't Sajim say you were too good? I think I saw that before. <laughs> I think I saw Sage reply to you saying that he watched your stream and you were too good. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Okay. Two. Mid. Oh. That was almost cool. Nice throw. I think it was two throw. It seems like a two throw. Ling is like not a character I've seen much of so far. Nice break. There you go. One. Two. Two. No, <laughs> no. I lied the punish out. One, two, there you go. It lagged me out of a punish. <laughs> it lagged me out of a punish. Fight. No double gin this time. You hear Redline? It's one of my favorite movies of all time. On two. On two. That's minus three. Two throw again, I think. I'm like not knowing what to do right now. Nice one, good round. Kodo is Shisho's dealer, my tech dealer. Sign a little bit right now. It's weird it didn't lag before for us. I'm pretty sure the last time we played it was like pretty stable. Dude, I haven't played Koyo yet so far. I've yet to play Koyo. Oh my lord, that's something like all the way for a death fist. Nice duck. You know ball? <laughs> you know ball? You know to duck that? One, two. One, two. One. No, you win. <laughs> you won this one. I don't think it kills, but it's gonna come very close to it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you know I had to do it to him. Aw, oh, fuck. Good throw, good throw. I need to use the secret tech again. It was working so well before. This one. This one. It's such a funny move. Two. 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 Good dog there, good hop kick. Does Xiao Yu not have a wall standing punish? Might be dead here. I have a mid there too. One, throw. No, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> no. 
No. That was a good one. That was a good one. All right. One to Sophie. One to Sophie. One game to Sophie. Xiaoyu does look really fun. I've never like wanted to play her, but her design is really good in this one. Round one. Fight. Her design's really good in this one, in my opinion. I like it better than all the other ones. Yeah, I was saying Yakuza 8 or Yakuza Gaiden hit me so hard that I was ugly crying in my room. Uh, with just like me and Concrete, my cats, uh, staring at me. Oh, fuck. Hold on, it worked anyway. Nice punish there. What's happening here? Yeah, she knows ball. She knows ball. Two. Oh, fuck. One, two. One, two. That's not what I wanted. No. The rehearsal was good to have you here. It was me alone in my room uh, with Conk and Crete uh, crying ugly tears. At, at Kiryu Kazuma crying ugly tears. I'm pretty sure some of you have probably seen what he looks like. Oh, nice one. Good punish. A duck low. Fuck. Okay. One, two. We get some health back. I always go for that because it gives me health. And I think it gives an unrecoverable health to you. No, GG, that was a good one. Gumbare, gumbare. Round three. Fifteen fingers, Sakuna, Sophie. Sophie! Sophie's not a bully, she's just a a, a, a teacher who does not hold back. Alright, that's punishable. One, two. One, two. She knows ball. That's probably cool. One, two, three. She got hit with that once before, so I tried it again. One, two. Oh, I got hit by it. No, I ducked for a split second. I ducked for a split second. Unfortunate, unfortunate. All right, one more. One more, one more, one more. Possibly three more, but one more, realistically. <laughs> If I could win this one, then possibly three more, but if, if I can't win this one, realistically speaking, because Sophie's really good. Okay. That's like super punishable. It's a bad habit of mine to be using it recently, for no reason. Other than the fact that people press through stance. One, two, three. Nice duck. A two grab? I think it's a two grab. There's a lot of grabs that this character does that I have like no explanation for. There you go. The people's elbow. It was a night time. It's great to see you. I hope you're doing well. I think I waste a lot of heat from that too. One, two, three, four. There's a lot of instances where I waste heat from uh, accidental heat dashes, and then I just don't have it for the rest of the game. Like on block, I waste it. Good mid. That's a good one. Round three. Also, okay, it's good to have you here. One plus two break. Seems to be the theme of the night for breaks that I don't understand being one plus two. One, two. Good duck there. It's like unsafe to use any highs against you. Nice sidestep. Good throw. I could do an unbreakable one. Okay. 
This one there. Stuck. Stuck. Nice sidewalk. So it looks like you can sidewalk a lot of her options, to be honest. Uh, out of Sentai stance. Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! Sophie's defense scares you a lot. It's, it feels hard to like open her up. Here we go. Two throw. I like that throw because normally is it a two throw? I also don't get side swap for it. So I don't have to play Reyna on, on the wrong side. Good throw, good throw. I'm just start trying to break that with one plus two. Okay. One, two. Good punish. No, I was there not alone. <laughs> How is that not a low? Nice throw. Good break. Good break. There you go. <laughs> you don't expect the same one twice, huh? Here. Good throw. There's a lot of health differential to make up here. I should have just been defensive. Cause now I might lose the health differential. Oh no! I like her playstyle so far, but not a fan of electrics. I'm assuming. It's not that I'm not a fan of. Oh god! They got we won. <laughs> Chill, Phil. It's good to see you. Uh, it's not necessarily I'm not a fan of electrics. It's that I don't have the execution to do them yet. So I have to compensate my lack of execution with the easier things to do. All right, we're still back in it. We're still back in it. This is a best of three with after school Sophie, uh, a Tekken god, a Tekken master. Uh, she beat my ass so hard last time that I didn't even know what to do anymore. So we are, we are trying to, to get a win off her. <laughs> Just like me, for real. Imagine Sophie plugs her in the front. <laughs> That'd be so funny. <laughs> That'd be really funny. Yeah, I, I'm not good at electrics. Yet. I think I can become good at them. But I've never played Amishima before. I used to play Asuka. And if we're all aware of what Asuka's like. um, She doesn't require the most amount of brain cells to play. Wait, what? My fellow American- Oh, no. No. My fellow Americans, we must be real with ourselves. Uh, Asuka doesn't really require a lot of brain cells to play. So playing her for a long time made me not think about the game. Link is your main now. Are you liking her better than, than Devil Jin? Devil Joe? One, two, pocket change, pocket chain. One, two. See, I don't know what to do against Devil Jin's anime stuff. That's the problem I have with this character. Is that his anime stuff is like really hard for me to figure out. Like his heat stuff especially. Though. You get life back and you don't. Aw, two. Though. Aw, two. Aw, nice one. That was a good one. I thought I broke that one. Oh no, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is that? <laughs> What is that throw? Fight. Oh, that's not good. Missing foot. Jesus Christ, no. Listen, it's not that serious. It's not that serious. <laughs> it's not that 
that serious. I know Devil Gen was like rated super high when the game came out. Step five is now following. Also, step four. Thank you so much for the follow. Much appreciate. Oh, I walked forward. Devil People are rated Devil Gen really high, but I've seen a lot of Devil Gen players say he's not as good anymore, which is interesting. I'm like trying to figure out what to do in these three frames of rollback right now. I'm like in the Miyazaki Poison Swamp. Two. Punish. Like, what do you do there? That's that's what I want to know. Do you just hold it? Is that just what you hold? Simple and clean. That's how you're making me feel. One, two. Oh fuck. We don't win with this. In fact, we die with this. <laughs> GGs. Sophie's GGs. That was really fun. So he said, I hope you enjoy it, that one win, because double generate letter. Yeah. <laughs> Probably not a fed, it's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. More arenas to steal tech from. You're gonna take like the most gorilla shit from me. I hope you understand. But it's good to have you here, Steph. I hope you're doing well. GG, Sophie, that was really fun. That was very fun. Well played. I knew what the result of it would be. So let me get a different song here. Also, Dark Cloud, thank you so much for the resub too. Much appreciated. I knew what the result was gonna be. But we did play better. We did do better. Which is the important part. It's not about doing the best, it's about doing better. Until you do best. That's what it's all about. Don't worry, your dream is to hit uh my dream is to hit my buds with a gorillion damage. <laughs> we have a bit of tech, maybe. Maybe. So one of my biggest problems, like I said before, is that I'm not good with electrics. Um, on demand. Besides those. Sometimes the game lags too. I just got hit with like a lag spike for some reason. I think it lags when it's trying to find a, a, a person. So I can do it sometimes consistently, but not all the time. Like you can see some, some faults in my inputs here. But it's hard to do it online for some reason. Cause sometimes that comes out, the down forward too. I'm still trying to figure out that one. Also, no, no, it's always good to have you here. Always try for better in a healthy manner. We love improvement, exactly. That's why the best way to play ranked in this game uh, is not to play ranked to get the points. Uh, it's to play ranked because people are gonna bring out the most bullshit in ranked. Uh, and you play until someone bullshits you. You play until someone bullshits you. The only reason I don't do this on stream is because I figured it'd be boring to watch. But what you do is you play until someone like hits you with some bullshit. And then you stop playing ranked. And you take that to replay takeover. And you do replay takeover to figure out what the bullshit was. And then you write it down after. That's the best way to play ranked. Um, because the, the opponents you're going to get from ranked are like... People who are trying their fucking best to not get demoted. So we get... Players like that one Huarong from before, who just does the same like three strings over and over again. Because he knows they're gonna work. So you figure out what those strings are, and then anytime you see that next time, uh, you just know now. Exactly. It's like the get ready to learn Chinese buddy picture. So make sure you use things that are unblockable, unless you know what's coming. That was unblockable, unless you're ready for it. <laughs> Dude, there's that video, or there's another video that's been stuck in my head. It's the white Jamaican rapper. Your Steve is 90% BS, 10% forward forward tier. That's how I feel at Arena, except I'm 90% forward forward tier. This intro is so good. I'm gonna get a different song too. It's all Guilty Gear. Why is it all Guilty Gear? This is a good one. I mean, I like Guilty Gear music too. One, two. Alright, he pressed. One, two. One, two. Okay. One, two, three. Alright, we learned he presses on that. I don't really begin to- oh. That was probably punishable. Unless you're ready for it. Alright, we kill here. I feel like I have to use the throw every time. 
You could tell me that the throw is like not optimal, but it's so good. Nice one. Only two. All right. Let's try the low from forward four two, because he might stop mashing soon. He doesn't mash. He doesn't stop mashing. One, two. One, two. One. Okay, we win. There you go. <laughs> Funny is optimal. Exactly. It does mental damage to your opponent, too. That's it. I'm going to do one, two. Set, set, one, two. Set, set, one. Oh, he tracks. One. Oh fuck. <laughs> he went under. He went under. Oh, okay, okay. I got counter hit there. You you saw that I ducked, but I counter hit. Because I was trying to do the launcher. One, two. Alright, we're gonna do low. One, two. Low is like plus two. We lose. Yeah. He uses the online special, so we gotta be cognizant of that. Not this guy again. <laughs> it's a different it's a different Kazuya. He uses he loves the online special. So we just have to block once we have him wake up from the ground. That's it. Not too far. No whiff punish though. Oh fuck. We have whiff punishes though. We can take him to the wall too. He pops heat, interestingly. I'll do it too. There you go. One, two. Alright, I got plus rooms from this. One, two, three. There you go. GG. Dude, I thought he was about to plug there. <laughs> I felt a plug in the force there. I felt a plug coming from the force there. Not this guy. You were referring to the the white Rega guy? We have to watch that on stream after this. That video has been stuck in my head since since it was on Twitter. Like I saw it forever ago, and I thought it was funny. And then I saw a post where someone was just like, their boyfriend was watching it, and then um, they were like, I, I would have preferred if he was cheating, but he was actually just watching the white, white Rega guy again. Which was a really funny post. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. There you go. Kazuya, buddy, I'm sorry I had to do it to you like that. <laughs> I'm sorry I had to do it to you like that. One, two. Oh, okay, we almost paired, we almost paired. Kinda hit. One, two, throw. We'll take away his gray health and then get our own back. Oh, let's punish from here. His heat smash, or his heat finisher, is a low. Oh, he doesn't have any more. He has rage. So we can't let him wake up anymore. We have to come in like a combo from here. There you go. You seen the same tweet? It's so funny. Round three. Good armor. I have armor too. I'm arm I'm the armored core. The fucked up part about that move. Is the fact that uh, if it hits, you don't get anything out of it besides the damage. Which is like, you know, that's still a lot. But I like doing the grab after. Uh, he might get something on this. He might use his rage art from a combo if he gets wall. He does not do it. There you go. GG. This is a good one. I have to show you guys the fucking, the white Jamaican guy. It's so funny. <laughs> I have to show you guys the white Jamaican video. It's so good. Let me take us back to the chatting screen just so I can show it to you guys real quick. Cause I have it, I have it on a tab here. Alright, let me pause this. Shuffle 19 is now following. Let me pause this here. 
uh, <laughs> also, we have a controversial food take on screen, too. I don't know if it's, like, actually controversial, but it is really Step funny. Is now following. People, people disagreed with it, but it's still correct. No matter what people say. These are the four heavenly kings of food in terms of region. Latin America, India, Japan, and China. Uh, no, wait! There's a fifth one. I forgot the fifth one. Let me show you guys this first. <laughs> this video is so funny. It's one of my favorites now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is how I imagine people who play DJ. You know anything already. M <laughs> oh, when I see DJ players at the local, this is what I what I think of them. Yo! Everything red. Big top plate. Now the pussy dead. I have to find his lyrics video for this. It's so good. My favorite part about this is the fact that all the Jamaicans in chat are like, Bro, fire! Fire! He looks like Norman Reedus. <laughs> this is Norman Reedus in Death Starting 2 when he has to leave America. He makes, he makes a stop at Jamaica. <laughs> So, so I was playing, I was playing a uh, uh, Helldivers with KK Cyber earlier. I was playing Helldivers with KK Cyber earlier, and then every time, every time I called in an ordinance, I said this. <laughs> every time KK, I called in an ordinance while playing with KK, I was just like Rickety Slam, every time. I th she was so annoyed by it too, I could tell. <laughs> she gonna make a new slam. I said that over and over and over again. <laughs> For every ordinance. It's so good. <laughs> Just wait till you see the lyrics video. Just wait till you see the lyrics video. When you know what he's saying, it's even better. Wait, let me find his music video. Because he, he's keeping the best part out of this. Little lion sound. Is he a little lion? Is that who he is? I can't tell, like, who is who. There's M.R. Duplicate. Oh, is little lion sound just a song? Dude, I'm learning so much about Jamaican music right now. Oh, Little Lion Sound is the, the group. That's the group. M dot R. Alright. I guess that's the group. Show me show me the lyrics. There you are. Alright, we're gonna see some forbidden information now. When I saw the lyrics video, I felt like I was peering too far behind the curtain uh, and that someone was gonna come for me. The Fallen Gong was gonna come for me after seeing the lyrics video. And it appeared in the results. <laughs> I did find out this video from him like a month ago. <laughs> this is so good. When I fucked the pussy, the pussy turned red. It goes hard. Well, you know what he's saying, it goes even harder. <laughs> she gave the wicked slam. She gave the wicked slam. That's what he says. She gave the wicked slam. That's so good. If you're looking for your one minute man I kept saying she could be the slam <laughs> Here we go, here we go <laughs> Dude, this beat is in the house like carpet This beat is in the house like carpet
there's something so powerful about um what was it what was it hold on let me go back when we fucked the pussy the pussy turned red gymnastic now the pussy dead <laughs> When I fuck the pussy, the pussy yeah, turned red. Gymnastic, yeah. now the pussy dead. What the fuck was he smoking? Bomboclat! The power of corked up white boy. It's so funny, because, like, he's genuinely Jamaican, I think, right? Like, he's not, like, pretending. Bro's doing tricks on it. <laughs> Bro's got the ripstick on it. Tenryu. We're gonna give her the wicked Islam. <laughs> she give me, she give me the weekend slam. Not his English. Oh, okay. We're anti little lion sound now. Oh, I could have punished that for sure. One, two, one, two, one. Oh, nice one. One, two. We take a bit of health back. Probably a tax rebate. One. Oh. <laughs> Lily, we're breaking everything here. We're breaking the entire fucking house! They're gonna fucking arrest us for this shit. We took the the, the chandelier down. Three! Go. One. Alright, hold on. We give her the wicked slam. Make a pump pump on red. Lily can afford it, I can't. <laughs> but just this many gift subs a day, you can make Shimada Tiger afford the property damage Lily has done. It was her fault. Low? Okay. Never discount the low. Even if even if Reina's lows are bad, never discount the low from that. She's giving me the wickedest slam! Don't tell me what! <laughs> She's giving me the wickedest slam! What the hell? That didn't even hit me, those are fingernails. Low? Okay. Go. I'm gonna take this on. Take this. Two. Two. Three. One. Two. One. Throw. One. Oh. Alright, my life. We might die here. Go. Nice throw back. Mid. One. Two. Oh shit, that's minus. No. Don't don't let the Ruby fan win. Do people still watch Ruby? Is that still like a cultural thing that people do? It's still going, right? Somehow. One, two. One, two. Oh, hold on. We're just fucking mashing heads together. Two. One, two. I'm gonna have to get something out of this for sure. Yeah, we got this. We don't got this. No, fuck. <laughs> no. Fuck you, Lily. GG. That was a good one. Lily is really good in this game. She's unfortunately good in this game. What's the Zamer? It's good to have you here. Thank you for showing me this beautiful information. I will now be saying wicked new slam. <laughs> What's it look great? It's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. I mean, it got Studio Shaft the anime just recently, so technically yes. I'm pretty sure like the Ruby like general general media is still going, right? Oh fuck! <laughs> oh no! Cringe! Okay, if she wins, she's a higher rank than me. If I win, I'm just that good. Jesus Christ! She's also playing Lily. Our excuses are on deck. L Lily is like a. Uh, a fucked up character. Round two. Fight. Uh, two. Like, I don't know what to do against Lily, to be honest. Because a lot of her stuff is like super plus. And it's also tracking and it's also evasive. She's got the whole like bag. You kind of have to like throw and counter hit her, I feel. Or or with punish. But like she can like run from a million miles away. Throw. 
There you go. One, two. One, two. There you go. Don't press there. Don't press that dial. Alright, hold on. We give her the wickedy slam. One, two, three. Go. I thought that was gonna be counter hit throw. Can counter hit throw still be broken? That's the fucked up part. Oh, fuck. I thought I got hit sparks there. I didn't. Every time I fight um, a Lily, I always let my preconceived notions about them do the talking. We didn't have any heat to end this with, but we get a lot of health back from Rage. There's a Wayglash Coon, it's good to have you here. Kind of hit throws can be broken, it's just harder. I hope you're doing well, it's good to see you here. One, two, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. We lose. Yeah, online special. There, she gave me the wickedest slam. I used to when I was fresh on YouTube, but lost track quickly after. I watched like for three seasons. And then realized that... Okay, I don't want to be disparaging in case people like it still. It was definitely like, not the best. Tekken's really fun so far. I'm getting my ass beat by Lily because I'm getting uh, knowledge checked. By the autoplay knowledge check character. Getting <laughs> uh, knowledge check for the autoplay knowledge check character. GG's though, GG's. I'm not gonna be mean. I'm gonna be kind. I'm gonna be realistic and say, you you poked holes in my defense that I, I wasn't acknowledging. Also, my nigga, it's good to have you here. Mega Anium, it's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for the three stream streak, too. Remember that's all lilies are bottoms? They are, but like, my preconceived notions of lily. Also, uh, anime guy, it's good to have you here. The fights were cool in the show. That's what I liked about it, too, to be honest. Is that I thought the fights were pretty cool, but that was like basically what I had going for it, is that it was just cool fights. Whenever I fight lily, I always think of the really annoying people I encounter on Twitter that like beg for Christy <laughs> or or complain about how they have to work really hard for playing Lily. Those are like the two things that I think about are like the people who have like like they post a fan cam of Lily uh, and then they say like like I, I played the hardest character in the game I work so hard and I'm just like brother you don't even work a job. <laughs> I'm like, brother, you don't even work a 9 to 5. What do you mean work hard? Oh, nice low. Dude, be nice to the fucking alpaca here. Oh, too far. Actually, just far enough. I walked into it. One, two, go. Do I go easy on newbies with just practicing rank? I do not. Because if they were just practicing, they would take the experience uh, from the, the, the replay and then learn. Alright, let's see if he does online special. Nice slow. Pocket change, there you go. Also, Gino, it's good to have you here. Why is Polnareff so popular? These two fighting games that use his hairstyle. Is Polnareff really the first to popularize his hairstyle? I felt like there had to have been like, uh, more Japanese media to do it, right? Cause it's definitely a Japanese thing. It's like for sure the Japanese like vision of Americans. Oh, that was a misinput. One, two. He's got pretty good defense, I'd say, in terms of just like not letting himself get counter hit. That has to be like punishable, right? Go. He doesn't. At least he's a vanquisher. He's like not like red rank yet. Unless he like just got out of it. Throw. He breaks throws. Okay. Throw. Okay. I might lose this one. Two. One. No. You motherfucker. You motherfucker. You motherfucker. I'll kill you. <laughs> Holy fuck. You piece of shit. It's personal now. 
I'm taking out all my scummy shit now. I have to take out all the scummy shit now. Okay. One, two. Oh, nice one there. That was a fucking... I'm losing my mind right now, bro. Red ranks are a harsh mistress because then you get fed the people from orange ranks that are like... Played a competent enough level that like scare you. Go. On two. Okay. On two. There you go. One percent. Players considering that's a Japanese hairstyle. <laughs> it's definitely like I've never seen a person in America have his hair. Maybe I don't live in real America. Oh, nice one there. This is scary, actually. We get a free electric off this, too. He does do cameo, that's good to know. Because we can't do that anymore, then. Go. Go. There you go. <laughs> Let's go! I'm sorry to Paula for stopping your promo. We got like, a, like 50 points. BM on, BM on his end. I will not BM this guy. He fought well. He fought well. He fought well. It did start with American Greasers, but the Japanese biker culture carried it. I feel like even American Greasers was never like... They, they carried it as in they carried the hair upwards and outwards. Like the Erd tree. Holy fuck. Maybe I should be in this guy. Is it pull the round start fucking hop me? Maybe I should be in him. Two, three. Alright. We have heat still. We gotta use this heat. There we go. That's how we're gonna use the heat. I'm gonna take him to the wall too. There we go. Big counter on that one. We're probably like plus four. After down down four, right? Unless we're like minus two, and it's like another minus low. The cast being like, where's my minus frame lows? And Raina just walking out with the suspiciously minus frame low <laughs> jacket. One, two, three. One. Oh. This one. Good shoulder. Okay, the, the oos at the end there, I think... I hope I'm not putting words in the mouth, but I think Joe told me that that's, like, duckable. Okay. He kicks my ass. One, two! One. Oh, nice one, nice. Throw. There you go. What the hell? <laughs> that tried me down all the way. Oh my lord! What are they feeding this character? He needs to wait his turn. One, two, three. One. Oh, nice one. Okay. One, two. We can get health back in this. We health still. Okay. No. That was supposed to be a wall running three. But it came out as a forward forward four or four forward three. Also, hot dog long water. It's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Go. Okay. That's definitely punishable now. Oh fuck, I missed the combo. When in doubt, he'd smash it out. There you go. GG's. I'm sorry for stopping your promo twice. When in doubt, he'd smash it out. I gave him the wickedest slam. 
We gave him the wicked Islam. We have to know where Paul was during January 6th. He was not implicated in January 6th. <laughs> he was he was riding his hog. He was riding his hog. He's not implicated in January 6th. <laughs> He was out. He was out with law or something. I don't know what they do. I'm not privy to their relationship. They 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 hate each other, right? Is that the thing that they do? Turn his pom pom ray. Pulls a hog cranker. He's cranking his hog on the Pacific Northwest. Did you guys see the um? It's a new horror game. Oh my lord. He looks like a homeless character in Yakuza. <laughs> He looks like a homeless character in Yagaza. Oh, oh, nice one. One, two. Like one of the homeless characters in Yagaza that are like actually good at fighting and then like give you a hard time when you're trying to beat them. No shot, the orbital was not punishable there. Unless I just slow. There we go. Pulls the guy to buy his guns at Walmart. Do they really sell guns at Walmart? Is that like a bit that people try to convince me of or is that true? Also, this song is such a banger. Oh, two. Dead. If you guys have not seen High School of the Dead, don't do what most people did, which was pretend it was bad. Do what the smart people did, which is understand it's good. Oh, I tried to electric there. Low? He's addicted to the low. He has a fans and they see a homeless man. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Me when I go to the city and I feel like I'm in Yakuza because there's a less than uh, or more than one homeless population. Nubikins is now following. Also, Nubikins, thank you so much for the follow. Much appreciated. Alright, we stomp. Watch their shoes play it. He's gonna go for low again. I feel the low in my bones. There we go. Put on anymore. 15 years ago, you can get a shotgun at Walmart. That's absurd. <laughs> Maybe because I'm from a, a state where, like, buying a gun is kind of difficult. I don't necessarily have opinions one way or the other that I'd even like to share. But I wouldn't want to say that that's insane that you could just buy it at the store. Like, at Walmart. Where you can buy, like, your kids' toys. Like, that's really funny. That's not me, like, making an indictment about the United States, but that's really funny, I should say. There we go. Here we go. I hope you're doing well tonight. It's great to have you. Oh, that was a good duck there. Okay. I think this character has become less scary to me over time. When I realized that, like, you can just, like, not, like, mash. He was really scary for me for a really long time. But as soon as I realized that you can just, like, not mash, I realized that he's not as scary. Until he hits you with the wicked Islam. Low? Alright, he's not using lows anymore. Maybe we're fucked. We might be fucked, we might be fucked. He's not using lows anymore. There's the low! Where there's a will, there's a way. Yeah, I mashed there. <laughs> Where first gun from a sports academy? It's wild how easy it is to get a gun. Yeah. Round three. It's definitely like way easier than like the layman believes it is, to be honest. Cause if it wasn't, the like gun ownership would not be so large in America, right? This is not me inviting a uh, like conversation on what it should be or not, but like you can admit that it's kind of funny. Three. Nice duck. There you go. Lars has to take a risk if he wants to get free damage. You know what we all do? You know what life's about? How did I catch him from there? Dude, I, I grabbed his hair. I grabbed Lars's stupid hair, and then I said, you're coming back with me, buddy. Get ready to learn block punishing, buddy. Go. Alright, we use this here. It's not gonna kill, but it's worth it to get the damage. Oh, 
Can we just play patient? Oh my lord! Somebody, somebody get a fucking uh uh, like X-ray on his hurt boxes, cause we're we're getting some really wink hurt boxes against him. Oh fuck, it's punishable, but he's not gonna punish. One two. Like we're we're yanking his fucking huge ass hair out of the air. Do. 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 I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But no. Okay. Okay. He's got it back. He's got it back. We hit him with the wickedest slam. Was it Jin the Pale Rider? It's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. It's very good to have you here. One percent laughed hard as fuck and flabbergasted when you saw shotguns at Walmart. It's so funny. What do you think about someone's katana ownership? <laughs> I think everyone should own a katana because it shows. What type of person you are by how you keep it. I think everyone should own a katana. Not just because it's funny, but because I think it it would show your character by how you present it. You know what I mean? How do you keep your katana? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> I'm not giving all my secrets here. That's that's for for me to know. And for you to learn through introspection. <laughs> I could take you to the journey, but you're gonna have to walk it yourself. So that's going really well so far. I have a YouTube video in the comments. I'm scared to click this. What the hell? Hold on, let me ban this guy. Three three links in a row? Uh is that a genuine YouTube link too? Is it a genuine YouTube link? I've not clicked it. Someone who is like uh, more foolhardy than I am. Three strikes and you're out, buddy boy. Three links, bro. What do you think this is? Jack links, three links back to back. Literally three YouTube links back to back. One with an emote. Uh, oh my lord. When was this account made? February 21st, 2024. Oh my god. Maybe I shouldn't have clicked on that. Don't click the profile made today. Uh. I did click the profile made today. I, I clicked on the name. Is that bad? Mods obliterate this man. I mean, you have to click on his profile to ban him. Rope. <laughs> you should yourself now. You should keep yourself safe now. Goodness gracious. The creatures are out today. Fast? What about fast? Eat this guy's bone marrow. People would be doing anything these days. Get ready for the people people would be posting the most decroted links in the chat. Chris Lidecker's girly anime earrings collection. What the hell? Who's blood waffling about? This is a comment. Clicking his profile is fine. But it's always sus with links. Yeah, I, I remember there was like... This shit where, where Twitch was like... You could be hacked if you clicked on their link or on their profile, not even their link. You don't have a safe, but it's definitely a bot spam. Yeah, for sure. To the point where, like, I don't even think that like making fun of him would like hurt the person behind it. Cough dude, thanks so much for the follow. Much appreciated. Cough dude, like I want, follow. I want to hurt the person behind the bot. The bot itself is just a, a cog in the system. The, the the bad doctor whose hands wrought that thing upon me, that's who I want to wring their neck. The robot is simply just the messenger. Let me find the, the protoman song for this. We have to bring out the protoman. Protoman. The proto protoman. Vent here we go. I the profile work, but I remember hearing that. Yeah, I heard it back in the day, but I forgot if they like took that out. Round one. Hell yeah, I love the profile. They're so good. Wing Chun Master. We'll see about that. What's the what's the vibe on Wingstop? Oh my god. This character's the mids dispenser, right? He's a mids and parry dispenser. Tear. One, two. One, two. One, two. 
All right, let's do some more pocket change on him. He doesn't block a lot of lows, from what I've seen. All right, I got hit by plus runs. RD7, thank you so much for the raid. Much appreciated. Oh my god. Strings? Okay, that's punishable. That's good to know. This is another character I just get knowledge checked by a lot. Oh my lord. Something that crumbled me? Was it Tekken 7? You got a Leroy tier? These people, like, these people are playing the knowledge check characters like it's no one's business today. Alright, we're gonna keep Rage. We're gonna keep Rage, we're gonna keep this. Cause we're gonna do this here. Come on, two here. Right here. Yeah, I did wall rise in there. That was a fucking. Round three. You're the first to say seven and not V. I'm a I'm a Roman numeral head. I play Final Fantasy. I'm the type of person who writes out Final Fantasy names with their like actual like Arabic numerals though. Somebody fucking help me against this character. What the heck? They're feeding me knowledge check characters at That's ranks like three lower than me so that I lose a million points when I lose. It's my fucking hubris. One, two, one, two, yeah. He mashed that time last time. So when I did wall setting before, he mashed on wall setting two. So I figured that we could do wall setting one and then like hit him for it. Oh my lord. Okay. Okay. What does he do? Probably dead here. One, two. We're gonna have to take a miracle here. Go. There you go. <laughs> there we go. That's what I'm looking for. We have to use his habits against him. His habits are that he mashes when he gets hit by um, a hell sweep, and is also his habit is the fact that he goes for a low standing up. Also, Artie, thank you again for the raid, and thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. I hope you had fun today. What are you up to today on stream? Alright. Okay. Okay. God, I don't know what this character does though. Like we can play fight the player, but the character itself is like, what the fuck is he doing? Oh, he doesn't parry this though. I wanted to make sure we get enough damage out on him as possible. Does this game have fake lows and highs? I swear it's day of five is bad. Low attack animations break through. Yeah, I would say that this game definitely has oh fuck. Nope. He's almost out of heat. No, fuck. GG! Oh my god. GG. That was a good one. This game definitely has animations that look like they should hit one way and hit another, which is like the most annoying part. It's all conspiracy big tech and is out to get you. True! Open your domain, Harada's vision. <laughs> I thought he was about to one and done me. What the heck? Did he leave? Get ready for the next Did he say I'm actually done? Did he accidentally hit yes and said I'm done? I got ranked up. <laughs> Plugger, someone plug this man. At least he did it after the fact. Well, actually, no. I wish he did it before. There, are so many rage quitters. Where are the rage winners? Where are the people who who plug while winning? All right, how do we convert off this here? Get him on the list. Why did he leave? I think he left because he ranked up and was scared of losing the points after. This is what I think. Unless there was like a genuine- Dude, we fought this guy before, right? No, it's just another guy who used the same mask. Dude, they didn't care about me before before I put on the mask. And now they think I'm everyone. Oh, holy fuck. Paul. It brings in my heart joy the fact that people started like overrating Paul in the tier list because I know I'm not only ass then. <laughs> I know I'm not the only one then. 
I got hit by a mid. Those are low. Go. Alright, we gotta hit him with Boogie Woogie. It's kind of sad. People in Street Fighter do that a lot. Yeah. I think it's like been a problem forever, but like it's only been more pronounced now because more people are playing fighting games. Oh my lord. I say we're fighting a lot of knowledge, knowledge check characters, but knowledge check character in this context probably just means like any character is like not played with like a 50% play rate. Because Paul is like, I don't even call Paul a knowledge check character, I just think he's fucked up. I just fucked up and stupid looking. Alright, oh. One, two, one, two, one, two, okay. Jesus Christ. There go. All right, we're breaking free. We're breaking free. Round you fought a drag using the mask before? Fuck. Listen, they don't care about me until I put on my mask. That's what I'm insane. Oh fuck, too far. Look at this damage, dog! What is this man eating? They're like, don't worry, he's just pokes! <laughs> and then the pokes are like hydrogen bombs! Alright, I think the trick is to just stay away from him and whip punish. But like, also not like... Ending up in a position where... Jesus Christ! <laughs> this character makes me so sad, man! Cause then I imagine the people on the other side playing him. And they tend to be nice people, which is the fucked up part. I can't leave my, let my preconceived notions like work against them because they tend to be nice. I want to be like, oh, every Paul player is like a blue eater, and then like I talk to them and they're just like, yeah, buddy, you played really well, and I'm just like, oh fuck, you're nice to me. <laughs> there you go, uppercut. Oof. Okay. As long as we stay on the offense here, maybe. Two, go. On. I walked into that one. Hot kick. Wait. There you go. <laughs> Manji kick. Let's go! GG. GG. This character for sure ate his veggies as a kid. He hits so hard. It's like... Every every Paul player I talk to tells me that he's just like a poking character. And like that's just what he does. But then he pokes you and you die. <laughs> he pokes you and then you die. Paul's overrated because his damage output is so heavy. But inconsistent in defensive situations. Yeah, maybe we have to just make him defend. You hit him with the UG- Exactly! Oh fuck. Maybe maybe we just have to keep making him defend. One, two, one, two, plus three, one, plus one. Go. One, two. Good break. Go. Maybe unwise to throw here. One, two, there we go. Bones are learning characters from Jin to Paul to Brian, to Kuma to King, and now to Yoshi. I would love to be able to play King. I'm just afraid of what that's gonna do to my brain. I'm afraid of, like, the evil that would enter my heart if I learned how to play King. I'm already, I'm already, like, halfway there. Like, that's the problem. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. Alright, pocket change. Oh, no. No pocket change. One, two. We have Heat and Rage. Oh no. Well, he's got a good low. Embrace the grappler side, keep him guessing. See, I feel like. Oh fuck. I feel like King is like just thematically so fitting for me, you know? As a, as a big, big cat. Okay, we're gonna use this opportunity here to spend our heat. Okay. No combo. Hop kick! You motherfucker. Oh, 
We lose. No, you motherfucker. <laughs> you motherfucker. Do you want to please become a king player? It would hurt Yeg. This is the evil version. <laughs> you start playing grapplers? I need someone to make an evil version of your model. This is the evil version. Let's, my fellow Americans, let's keep it a buck fifty. This is the evil version of me. He likes to hit that that yank, lanky splanky low, or that mid, I should say. So, I'm gonna let him take this one. I'm gonna lose the destroyer. I'm afraid of what that's gonna do to my points. That's probably like minus twelve to thirteen. Go. Ain't no hero ever played Jerry. She's honest. Oh my lord. Never before seen interaction. He really just runs up in hop kicks. That's like the, the thinking man's button, huh? He might win this one. He used the same button like four times in a row there. He's gonna hop kick again. Ah, oh, fuck this character, bro. He's noticing here. No noticing here. He always played juries, but mod the shoes on. Exactly. Be careful. She's a hero. Dude, no wonder people complain about Gaudi. You, like, lose everything and gain nothing. Evil Shimada. I will play Tekken. This game does make people evil. There, there's definitely a certain stink to it. You have to be willing to do shit to people you shouldn't ever, like, consider reasonable to play this game. Oh, nice one. That has to be, like, lost in tier. Dude, I wish Raina's lows were good. <laughs> no! Whenever you fight a character with good lows as Raina, you're just like, I wish I was you. But we'll use them anyway. On tier. Jesus Christ. Hop kick? <laughs> Two can play this game, motherfucker. It's like way minus. You're kidding me. Who gave him who gave him link stance? All right, we're gonna lose this one. Ken Vane stand together? Because no one stands with them. <laughs> Did you hear they took Ken's throw loop away? I've become a fan of down forward three, command wave dash, hull sweep. That's what I say too. Down forward three, wave dash, hull sweep is like, they never see it coming. It's like too quick. You hop kicking motherfucker. I'm gonna like do something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something to you, bro. You're not gonna like it. We throw? He's not gonna go Kemi. One, two, one. You're Tommy! You motherfucker! You're telling me that it's not punishable by two? By two? By two! The two button! The 12 framer! What? <laughs> what? No two for you? Almost? What the fuck? There's no shot. You're telling me that that shit is not punishable with the two button. Dude, danger is the mind. One if by land, two if I see, as they say. <laughs> what? No shot. MF said, I'm hop kicking, no worry. Hop kick can only be blocked, only does one kick. You don't pull hop kicks, it's two kicks, which is punished by two. What? You're telling me that his, his one kick, hop kick, is not enough to kill? Or not enough to punish? You can't punish it with two? What the hell? The one he's been launching me with? 
<laughs> the shit, that's the that's the shit he's been launching me with, though. That's what he's been hitting me with. That's safe. At least to a point where I can't launch it with with two. I can't hit it with two. I don't. I don't. I want off this planet. All right, we're gonna raid Teddy Komatsu because it is the end of stream right now. However, don't worry because there is more. There is more. Oh my god, let me get rid of this real quick so you guys can read the the schedule. There is more Tekken coming up this week. You go to this tier. Where is my... Where is my thing here? Maybe I just have to pull this out. How do I get rid of- there we go. Tekken on Friday! I hope you guys are ready for it. I hope you guys are looking forward to it. If you guys do not see the raid notification in the top right hand corner of the screen, always appreciate you guys refreshing your page and joining along for it. Here is the Discord here. Here is the raid message as well if you guys would like to give Sario Komatsu some of your love. She is a good friend of mine who's been a uh, hiatus from streaming but she is a lovely voice and she's doing karaoke tonight. Here is the sub raid as well. You guys have the emotes as well. Here's my Twitter if you guys would like to follow my Twitter. I hope everybody has a wonderful night tonight. Oh yeah, Tora! Otsutora! Otsutora! Good work everyone today. Very fun stream. We're watching Baki tomorrow and then more Tekken on Friday and then ASMR on Sunday. So I hope you guys look forward to it. What's total? What's total?